So, welcome to session one session of one. Uh, Starfinder Dead Sons. After our initial session zero of building characters and any backgrounds, I can tell that we're going to diverge greatly <laughs> and, and uh, to, the, to the adventure path as written, and that's quite all right. Uh, based on some house rules, we're going to give out a Benny to everybody to start. The Benny allows a, a single re-roll or a plus one to a re-roll. On the re-roll, it's the best of the two rolls. So everybody, so you either get you get you, Benny will let you re-roll any skill or any anything. Not not damage. Okay, so just not damage. Okay. A D twenty. It'll allow you to roll a D twenty again. What's okay. A so Jeff gets one. My dice. Adam gets one. So that's, uh, that's roll slash D twenty. Adam, you haven't touched one in a while. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bob gets one. Mikey. You're, you're show, 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 show all the camera guys. Okay, all right. So hold on. So here, here's my shirt. Mike is playing the Yosoki. This is my human costume. I'm really a lift up higher. Rat. rat. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and, and your and your prop. Oh, wait, and hold on. Here's my prop. Josh said we, we should have a prop too. Mike is the only one who even tried. So he gets a second, Benny. So you got two, buddy. Awesome. I love it. <laughs> If I didn't have this giant Italian nose, this prop would be so much more comfortable. <laughs> be less guinea. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're talking to the wrong people here. I, I know. I know, right? Like. Anyway, all right. We'll put we'll put this back on a little bit. You got to try to make it fit better. Uh, do you guys want to spend a minute quick to describe your characters to the audience? Uh, yeah, sure. Describe her backstory. Uh, keep your backstory to yourself. We'll see if we can't work it in in the first few weeks. And if we, if, if you guys want to share it to help get RP background from other people, I'm all for that. You know, and I think the secrets help, help guide, don't hurt, don't help sometimes. But at the same time, if you want to play it out for a little bit while, while to, to let it play itself out, I'm fine with that too. So, Jeff, you want to go first? Uh, I will be playing Mala, who is a Lashanta. Envoy, and within the Lashanta, she is the uh, Demaya subclass. That's the tall, long, lanky, skinny. Um, she is extraordinarily attractive, but also seems pretty young as far as the uh, uh, Lashanta go. Probably right around 19, 20 years old. All right. Is that it? That's fine. Are you you want to play the state of class and <clears throat> uh, uh, on boy and theme? And hey, theme Jeff? is fair. Jeff? Yep. What you wearing? <laughs> a a tight latex uh, body outfit. I don't know who to give the chip to. <laughs> <laughs> My little rat tail just twitched. <laughs> Did you say your theme was uh Starfarer? Did I hear that right? Spacefarer, yeah. Space oh, Spacefarer, got it. I thought you were going icon. I need a little bit to help my con. Okay. Was... <laughs> oh, a seven? How did you get a ball? Oh, that's right. Jules is only an eight, so go ahead. Yeah, well. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm playing uh, Ozymandias. He is a, uh, a Vesk soldier. <clears throat> yeah, he's big, and he's green, and he's everything you think a Vesk soldier should be, including the mercenary theme. And uh, the only horns on his, on his whole head are horns on his chin, two points on his chin like a goatee. Uh, his armor is dull, scorched, and dented. Uh, it's been patched and welded quite a bit. Uh, he seems to kind of be uh, not too what's sort of sociable, friendly. Not too friendly. Well, it's, it's plenty friendly mm. if you know you want to talk guns mm. <laughs> or tactics. But he's he's not sociable. He's in his own little world on this ship. All right. Um, I'm going to interrupt quick because Henry's not going to stay with me for long. Henry, we'll be playing. Alisa, when Jules is not here, when Jules is here, Jules will play her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding. Jules will play. When Jules is here, she'll play Alicia. She is a uh, technomancer, uh, Lashanta de Maya as well, and a Xeno seeker. So uh, she'll be joining us later in the night, probably. But I just wanted to get that done before Henry ran off. <laughs> Go ahead, Mikey. All right. So I am. Uh... I am Trigger, <clears throat> and not like Trigger like a gun. Trigger um, like Roy Rogers' horse? Kind of, yes. Um, more, more like that than Trigger like a gun when you think of the name, the name Trigger. Uh, I am a Yoshki uh, 
uh, pilot and, and mechanic class. Um, I am essentially Josh and Adam in rat form. <laughs> <laughs> it gives us way too much credit. Yeah. So you did not take the drone, you took the AI? I took the AI. Okay. Yep. So yeah, so that, that's a good point. So uh, I did take the AI uh, over the drone. I figured it was, uh, after reading through both of them, it seemed a little bit easier. Um, if I was Bob or Adam, I probably would have taken the drone. Um, but they can do things better than I can as far as, like, managing two characters at one time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what I do like about this system is that the, uh, mm -hmm. like, I remember having a druid companion in, like, 5e. It mm -hmm. would attack in place of your attack, so it was really kind of pointless. The druid yeah. in this system can attack on your move action, so you can get two attacks in a round. But it's not yeah. so overpowered that you have, like, a separate character. Uh, yeah, no, no, it, it, it was very cool. I, I like the concept of the AI because you can play around with it and with your toolkit, you can upgrade stuff and you can like use it for data storage. I want the one um, right it, seemed, it seemed pretty cool and interesting that I got to kind of build my own AI. Like yeah. the way the storyline goes, you kind of built it yourself. So um, I am not a uh, <clears throat> uh, super big or strong rat. I was kind of like the, I guess you would say the runt of the litter. Um, I'm like a little over three and a half feet tall. He makes the half one look big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I make a half one look big as far as my race goes. I make my uh, most uh, most of my race looks pretty big. Um, and uh, you know, I'm I'm kind of the uh, geeky nerdy. Uh, but if you push me, uh, I have no problem fighting back. I would apologize for stepping on you, but just get out of my way. Yeah, no, you'll you'll absolutely be able to step on me. <laughs> You're just going to channel yeah. your your reaction to Henry every time you talk to one of those two, aren't you? <laughs> all right, Bob, you are up. Let's I hear you done. Uh, yep, yeah, no, that's all I got. Bob, you're up. Uh, your eyes pass over uh, a space and move on, and then you think, wait a minute, and then your eyes look back, and you see a fairly unremarkable shorter figure. Maybe three feet six, three feet seven, uh, and it is a rat person. Uh, he's got brown, mousy hair that sometimes it borders on black. It's the sort of hair that probably blends well in the shadows. He's got a streak of white that covers over his left side of his face and over his head. He's got nicks and cuts in his uh, ears. And you know, with the state of medicine the way it is, that that's something that could easily have been fixed. But for whatever reason, this person has cho chosen not to fix it. Uh, you are looking at Ghost. And Ghost is also Yusoki. And uh, it doesn't quite look the same. Different coloring and patches as Trigger. So, although you may not be a Yusoki expert, you're pretty sure they, they're not related. And uh, he's a Ghost operative as well. And he is themeless. All right. Anything else? Mm, that's it. All right. So, for anybody who has, um, who's actually watching this, uh, we've been together for eleven or twelve years. We've played four E, five E, AD and D, Savage Worlds. Uh, we've Super read Superhero, uh, yeah. custom, custom World, Dresden Files. So we've played a whole bunch of different settings and a bunch of different rule sets. So we have some experience. We have not vetted these rules a ton, so we should have some pain so when it comes to learning ex it. Yeah, ex excursion into either Pathfinder or Starfinder. We've never yes. done this stuff. So, yeah. Uh, the guys who are remote, do you hear the women talking in the other room? Uh, slightly. I don't hear it that loudly, no. All right. Good. Should I put the car up? Good. Blank it up. All right. All right. So all of your different routes and reasons to get to Absalon Station have brought you to the planet Terilia in the ship Okimoro. You left Terilia earlier in the day and have been in the drift for several hours. The ship isn't anything special, but it does have a bar, restaurant with a great view. Passenger manifest is decidedly light for this run, resulting in a very quiet atmosphere. Um, the We pick up with... Get there. You guys can zoom out if you want. If that's too big, uh, there's a, a small bar on the ship. Actually, it's a good-sized bar on the ship. And Nala is there, and somehow she and 
Ozzy are engaged in a conversation at the bar. So wait a minute. Let me get this right. <clears throat> we're starting our new adventure off at a tavern? No, we're on a spaceship. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're, we're following the troll. It's, it's, it's a space bar. tavern, Adam. It's a space, it's a space tavern. tavern. Space tavern, got it. <laughs> Josh, that's a really cool picture. Did you uh, did you spend your time prepping drawing that yourself? Yeah, especially the Stanley bartender. I worked hard at that one. Nicely done. Has he got an eye patch going on there? Is that what that is? Those might be his glasses. Yeah, it might be his glasses. No, that, uh, I believe you're right. I believe that is an eye patch. His yeah. future's so bright. He's got. Yeah, a it it. Yeah. Yeah. I sure hope we speak uh, common language. Is this like the TGI Fridays of the uh, of the shuttle? Like I'm seeing. No, it's more like the bar car on a train. Because I see like there's gear hanging, like a a piece of a rocket hanging from the ceiling. Sort of. Yeah. Does that the yeah. service have flair? Like on their, <laughs> like little miniature blasters on their attached to their vests. We're actually tchotchkes. <laughs> so, this was the least defensive, the, the, the remotely closest one I could find in short notice at very close. It, it implies sparse population. I like it. So, anyway, so um, Nala had been talking about the Starfinder Society. Um, Ozzy had overheard and came over to participate in the conversation with the bartender, who removed himself as soon as somebody came over to talk to Nala. <clears throat> oh, hello. I heard you were. Talking about the Starfinders. Oh, yes, I'm so excited. Aren't you? What's your name? Uh, Ozymandias. Uh, Uzi. Ozymandias. Ozymandias. Uzi Mandias? That works. Very good. Oh, so excited. My grandmother was in Starfinder Society. How can I get there? Well, we, we take the, uh, the, the transport to Abyssal, Absalom Station. Where, where and when does it leave? You're on the ship now. Oh, yes. It, is, it is here and we have left. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I wanted to make sure you passed the test. Oh, so what faction are you thinking about joining? I'm not interested in the Starfinder Society per se. They have some information that I believe may help me. Oh. But, but yeah. <laughs> I, I'm looking for... Information about how to join uh, the Hell Knights Society. Oh, the Hell Knights. Have you heard of them? I believe I have. Do you know where I might be able to contact the Hell Knights? Uh, I'm sure somebody at Absal Absalon Station will know. I understand that the Starfinder Society has a great breadth and depth of knowledge of the solar system. Oh, the best, the best in the, in the solar system and beyond. And beyond. Uh, so you believe they know about the Viscarium as well? That's where, that's where I went. That's where the Viscarium Oh, Oh, of course. Oh, I was unaware that uh, that we allowed the Starfinder Society into our home system. We've, I believe they've exchanged knowledge. Well, I suppose everything is in, uh, acceptable now after we've tried to fight off the swarm. You look Wait. a little less disgusting to me than you would have 30 years ago. Okay. <laughs> I'm humanoid with antennae, which is slightly you, different than... Yes, you are weak. Uh, I understand. She, she is pretty weak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell by looking at you. And we're really hoping for some, some somebody break in right now. Well, that's, we? a, that's a very interesting outfit you're wearing. Oh, yes. This is the, the armor I was given when I was a new recruit in... Uh, in um, uh, when I joined up with the Natural Mercenary uh, uh, outfit, I, I was a member your of your outfit. Yes. Th yes, I'm asking you about your outfit. Yes. <laughs> this armor. This armor is the armor I learned earned as a mercenary mercenary for the Natural Company. Ah. I really shouldn't be talking about this. Well, okay. They, they may be after me. Oh. <laughs> I guess at this point. Uh, entering the bar without great fanfare uh, and taking up a seat that is in the corner with two defendable positions are two small Isoki. They head for the shadows. The table has one of those uh, kind of glowing lights. Uh, one of the Isoki, who's got sort of a whitish stripe on his head, puts his finger on it and douses the light. The two of them begin whispering to each other urgently. The uh, bartender kind of rolls his eyes 
going to put the silverware away. As, as <laughs> Have you ever seen Yasaki? I've only seen one back on uh, Castroville. Oh, yes, they typically perform the lesser operations in the natural uh, uh, mercenary outfits. Uh, uh, information gathering, technolog- technology, uh, sometimes they do stealth operations, which is somewhat admirable. Dig latrines. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Digging latrines on the, on the spaceship. Leading <laughs> <laughs> the sewer pipes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ghost, ghost, ghost! Do you want you, you want want us to get some drink? Do you want me to get some drink for us? How can you think of drinking right now, Trigger? I am sorry again. I am sorry. Who are we meeting? Where are we? We are. They want us. You know, every person here could want to kill us. You must look out for yourself. No, no, I, I, I am, I am, I am. But I, I'm, I'm thirsty. We're, we're in the bar car, so we, we should, we should get some to drink and 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 and, and maybe eat. Um, cause who knows what, what, when that might happen again. Okay, good plan. You get drink and get food. I cover you from here. Okay, I, 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 I like that. Be careful. You never know where an enemy is. Wait, Trigger! Yes, yeah, yeah, I'm here, here I'm here. Come back here. I'm here, I'm here, here, here. What is our plan? You the, you are the thinker. Yeah, no, 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 we, we, we got a plan. I, I'm gonna go to the bar, and, and you hear those two talking over there? I I I I think I think we might be able to connect with them. Absolute station. The muscle man. The muscle man. Ew, look at him. All the muscles. His muscles have muscles. No. He, he's got a, he's got a funny fun, fun, funny looking chin. But but yeah, look at the size of him. I I bet I bet we could hide behind him and 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 and, and, and we wouldn't even be seen by anybody. Well, you can take left leg. I can take right leg. Wait, you want me to rob him? No, 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 I, I, no, he looks mean, we shouldn't do that. Uh, that, that would cause trouble, and what have I told you, don't cause any trouble unless I tell you we can cause trouble. Don't cause any trouble, yes, 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 oh, go, go, get, go get food, I have, I have no credit. No, 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 I, I, I remember the credit, remember the, the ones we stole, I mean, I mean, the ones we borrowed, sorry, borrowed, yes. Yes. yeah, yeah, okay, we're, we're, okay, we're, we're, uh, I'll go get us something. Okay, Trigger. Seven and Costello. Yes. Yeah. Oh, did I mention I have a stutter? <laughs> oh, I want to give all of you a chip, but that would just be redundant. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, so Trigger, you go over to the bar and place an order? Yes. I'm going to go over to the bar, place an order as I'm shoving it in my face already. As I'm shoving it in my face already. Um, for those uh, that are watching, it's a two hour time difference for me, so it's dinner time here. <laughs> They've already eaten over there. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get us two uh, drinks and uh, something to eat. Uh, maybe some cheese. Excellent choice, Trigger. This is delicious. Uh, I, uh, now we'll break the ice. Oh, well, hello there, uh, Yasoki. What, what brings you here? Not your cheese. Get your own cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Love that joke. I'm talking to Michael's character, trigger. I trigger. I don't, I don't know his trigger yet. Nope. Uh, uh we're just on a on a on a on a trip. Oh, well, my name is Nala. This is my friend Azamandi. Azim Azimandius. Uh, 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 can I call it, can I just call you Oz? Because Oz, because 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 that's too long. No, this is very different than the Yosoki that I uh, came into contact with back on Castroville. Oh. This one is much different. <laughs> Excuse me. It seems quite twitchy. Excuse me, Trigger. Yes, yes, goes. What up? Me to kill them. No, 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 no. Let's not kill them yet. It, it could be useful. Uh, hello, and what's your name? What do you, you... What think you my name is? Yes, Bob. Yes, okay. Bob. Mm, no. <laughs> you look like a Rudy to me. No soup for you. <laughs> no cheese for you either. He eats the cheese. He puts it all in his cheeks. It's an obscenely large amount of cheese. 
Uh, you also notice he picks up the plate as an afterthought and puts the plate in his cheeks, in his mouth. Uh, his cheeks seem slightly larger, and the plate has just completely disappeared. The bartender comes over and goes, eh. uh, what, do you, what problem you have here? The, the plate. I need the plate back. Ghost, ghost, ghost. Let, let's not get in trouble here. We've only been here a few minutes. He looks at Trigger. Mm. He spits out very deftly into his hand appears the plate. Perfectly clean, by the way. And he hands it back to the bartender. Thank you for cleaning it. There's, that's five credit. <laughs> no. Here, I'll give you some extra water. <coughs> it's on the house. It's on the table. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what are you two doing here? Oh, we're, we're, we're at Absalom Station. I can't wait for the Starfinder Society. She's oh, very excited. Starfinder Society. Ah, yes. Yes, do you know I invented that? I, I, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is Starfinder Society? No, no, no. It's okay, Ghost. We, we, we'll talk about it later. You, you, you and me, we, we can fi- I can fill you in later. Wait, you're with the founder of the Starfighter Society and you don't know what it is. <laughs> no, no, no. No. He, he's, he, he's, he's, he's a he's nice guy, but slow. <laughs> I am fast. I am very fast. I kill you. No, no, no. Fast like that, yes, but slow <laughs> upstairs. <laughs> you know we've talked about this, Ghost. Come on. That's why we work so good together. The small furry ones are quite entertaining. Are you going to eat one soon? <laughs> what? Are you going to have one for, lunch, for dinner? Maybe. <laughs> I, I could use a light snack. <laughs> I would be like an appetizer. <laughs> uh, well, you, know, you, you guys notice that I'm extremely small compared to um, Ghost. I mean, I am, you know, kind of small, not really well muscular. You can definitely tell that... Um, I was picked on and, and beat up as a kid and, uh, there's tape on my glasses. Um, no, I'm just kidding. There's no tape. I don't have glasses. Um, because I have my own bionic eyes. I mean, I built them myself. <laughs> but Josh or J- um, Mikey, that's a lot like saying for like the three of us that, you know, Jeff is tall compared to Josh. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> No, I say from where we stand, it's no difference. You're both just freaking tall. From where I stand, both of these soakies are just freaking short. <laughs> yeah. A few more people wander in places. I wouldn't more say it's filling you. up, but if you want to get a table and and move off away from the bar, you probably want to do that pretty soon. Can you guys come join? We, did we gravitate? Didn't Bob and I grab a table? Yeah, I mean, you guys grabbed a table, but then you went to the bar to get food. I'm not quite sure where Ghost. Oh, okay, from. okay. So I we'll we'll um. I'll take my plate of food since Ghost shoved all of his in his face. And um, I'll take our drinks and I'll, I'll say to Ghost, I'm going to say, hey, Ghost, Ghost, can, can, can you go find us a table? And, 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 and I'm going to invite them. They're going to go to episode Starfinder. That's, who we're, that's where we, that's, that, 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 that's we want to go. Ghost frowns, then looks at Trigger very earnestly. Is that the plan? Yes, that's our, that's, that, that's our plan. Okay, find table. Go star finder. And then... No, no, no. You just find table. I'm finding star. No, no, no. Table. Just table. Find star, oh, then find oh. table. No, right. One, no, no. One table, then star. Star table. I'll bring you, I'll bring you a star if you find a table. Okay. Ghost looks for a table. See, there's, there's still one in the corner. Um, you know, it's not quite as uh, quiet and dark as you, would, as you had previously. Somebody's taken that booth. But it's, it's probably like say it's one re- removed from the corner. Is, as he's walking, is there any are there any good marks? Anyone who seems to be a bit uh, into their drink, uh, a good person that he might be able to pickpocket as he walks towards the table. Why don't you get a perception check? DC fifteen. I'm going to tell you ahead of time because it doesn't matter. Once I find it, I'm good to go. It's under, the P. it's under P. It's in the skills section. Skills. Skills. Oh, got it. Okay. Scrolling, scrolling. Sorry, guys. It's all right. We're working out cakes. It's all good. We're learning. Done. 
Uh, the perception and the perception came out with a seven. So you really? <laughs> you do not see anything worth stealing at this point. Okay, he goes to the table. Ah, oh, we can join you at the table. Trigger? Did you, yeah. did you, did you get his name yet? Trigger, yeah, yeah. yes. No, 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 no. My, my, my friend got us a table. We, 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 we got a table. Why, why, don't, why don't you come join us? Oh, thank you. That'd be great. I have nothing better to do, and these little ones are quite entertaining. Wow, you, you're, you're so big. Where did you come from? Why are you even here? How did you get here? How did you fit through that doorway? I am. Oh my God, this is incredible. Look at this. What is that on your chin? Oh my gosh. <laughs> if you think that's big, you should see my gun. <laughs> oh my God, you have a gun? I've got a huge. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I actually have a huge. Uh... Is it computerized? Can I see it? I like to play with computers. I'm really good with stuff like that. I can probably make it better. <laughs> I just messed your dice up too. Thanks. <laughs> Josh, is this working out for you so far? Oh, you guys, are, I'm having a great time. You guys, <laughs> you guys are working it out. I, I love when I can let you guys just play. As, as a GM, I like nothing more than this. I'm doing my job. I'm giving you a place to play. So, uh, would, would you like me to, to, to inter, intervene for a second? Yeah, no, go ahead. Okay, so you guys spend the next uh, 30 to 40 minutes together yammering away. Um, Trigger yammering a lot. Ghost making completely inappropriate comments that befuddled and piss off Ozzy and Nala. Ozymandias. Uh, I would refer to him as Ozzy. All right, you can do that. I'm the GM. Yes. I'm not a character talking to you. Yes. Um, Don't worry, we'll get there, guys. <laughs> uh, it's a bad thing. And probably, so you, you, you finished your meal, you've each had a drink or two. And about, uh, so you've been there for about 45 minutes. You're getting a little more comfortable with each other. And three guys come over, thugs, you know, look, 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 look up for trouble. And they really lay into you pretty quickly. One is talking about, oh, fucking lizard, dude. We should have kicked them back to where they came from. Fucking couple rats. But look at her. I bet you we could have some fun with her. <laughs> I bet you could have fun with me too, little one. Well, what, uh, what they're they're three humans. Sorry, okay. three humans. Yeah, they're little. They're, they're good size for humans, but they're yeah, not. They're not. They're not vest. <laughs> yeah. Ghost, what? ghost, ghost. I, I, I'm, uh, no. I'm, I'm hitting, kicking ghost under the table, and, 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 he, and, and he knows what that means. Because cause we've done this before, and, 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 and he, he's my backup. I mean, I'm his backup. You want me to kill them now? Um... Let, let me cause a distraction and so people won't notice. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm sure we could have some fun, but I am not looking for fun right now. Thank you. Oh, I didn't say you were looking for fun. <coughs> oh, I think that would matter. I don't. What, do you like the lizard man instead? Do you like slimy, gross lizard thing on you? I happen to be that, scaly, not slimy. Thank you. That, that forked tongue? Or, or maybe you like the he rats. Seems, he maybe. seems to know what to do with his tongue more than you do. <laughs> <laughs> I, sh I, I, <laughs> she, she is a master of bluff, uh, <laughs> diplomacy, and intimidating. So she's, <laughs> she's pretty good at talking her way out of places. Maybe, maybe you like the dirty rats instead. Is that what it is? Two oh, no, no. Hey, hey, look at my... Hey, hey, you big idiots. Look at my shirt. See what my shirt says? This is my human costume, you dumbass. Yeah, this is not... I'm not a rat. You're a dumbass. <laughs> he takes the table and he throws it aside. I was going to see if you guys wanted to fight, so we're going to have a little fight. Oh. It was oh, yeah, no, we want to fight. Conveniently, I found this at 3.45 today. <laughs> uh, I said you were not quite in the corner of one. Oh, let me see if I can remember how to do this. Is it control, Bob? Yes. Uh, why is it not? Is it control or shift, Bob? We're all to get the center on the right one. Uh, I think it is control left click, but you have to be clicking on the arrow, the select arrow. For... Yep. Do you guys see me highlighting that? I do. 
Okay, it's it's you guys can't see it because it's behind the pick the uh let's roll that over a bit. Say what? There. Okay. You can see you. Yes, we don't quite fit on the map because I didn't quite space it out right. Honestly, Ozzy doesn't fit in the in, in the uh Oh you guys were here, that's right. Ozzy doesn't fit inside there. I'll uh oops. Trigger and ghost. Would it be too tropey to lop off his arm with my longsword? So you guys are at that booth. You see, you see that? Yep. And then there's. Uh, I even think I know which one might be me. Maybe. You're the one with the purple background. Ah, yes. Thank you. I tried to give you different color background so I could easily describe each of you. We're not the rats. We're not. <laughs> yeah, you can zoom in if you want. I look for the little purple emblem on my throat there. Okay, I was going to say, you said there were three. Yes, there were three. Uh, so, this the, the guy in the yellow there, he tossed that table next to him away. This table here. And his, he just threw, pushed it out of the way. Looking for trouble. Clearly thinking he's better than all of you. Was there any bouncers at this bar? Or was it just... No, was, this is kind of like, 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 like the bar car on a train. It's just right. a, a passing by. You are welcome to roll initiative, or you are welcome to try to talk your way out of it, or whatever you wish to do. Fighting three drunkards is hardly fair. I suggest you, you uh, reconsider your course of action here. Uh, I don't know. I think that would be intimidate. I would think that'd be intimidate. I would go with him. I, I would think that you guys would really be re re really dumb to to want to uh, f f fight him. Plus, you're intimidate. Six. <laughs> I have no. I have no intimidate. It's just it's what seemed to come out of. Maybe 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 did, you want to intimidate. Maybe well. I will show you. Did you to... say something? <laughs> And Lizard Man, are you trying to scare us, Lizard Man? I make no threats. I just make promises. <laughs> uh, before uh, we even get up, and you hopefully have a weapon, this man at my across the table from me might just cut you in half from the bottom up. Those two rats that you've said, that you've continuously called them, they will jet out of here, one below, one on top, and they will get a, a garret around each of your necks. And uh, cut your heads off if you keep this up. It is up to you, but choose wisely. Intimidate check. That might be a bluff. I'll make a bluff check. I don't know. I don't think that's a bluff. I think that's a. That's okay. 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 You want to go intimidate? No, I'll give it to you. Up to you, Jeff. You beat the bluff. Choice. Twenty. Natural twenty. Nope. Twenty. The leader looks at uh, the vest, and he sees the the slight glint of insanity. In ghost's eyes, like the, the revelry waiting for the for the fight. Oh yeah, I, I've totally got a hand right on my weapon, right right on my whip, my tack lash. And uh, the uh, that should be my right hand. The guy, the guy, and yells like, "These guys aren't worth the effort. Let's go get another drink." And they kind of <laughs> they, they, they they kind of wander off. I think you should get that drink in another part of the ship. So, ghost, ghost. Right. Let's follow them and see if they go to the bathroom. We'll take him out there. <laughs> they go to the other side of the bar. Literally, other side of the bar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm tired of these filthy humans making fun of us. So, uh, where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> do, uh, do they appear to be bothering anybody else, or are they keeping to themselves? They they are keeping to themselves at this point. Fair. Uh, can we see any weapons on them, like tucked away in a holster or a belt, anything like that? A knife and a boot? Or a well, that would kind of apply a perception check. Okay. Does this come under uh, hierarchies, practices, personnel? Nope, this is straight perception. No, it comes under perception. 17. <laughs> I'm waiting for Adam to do his math with his fingers. Niner. Niner. You got a perception check for me? Oh, Nala? Did, did you see how I, I was too busy focused on bluffing this? Did you see how I didn't have to add anything on my fingers? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's because you only had nine. Yeah, um, I didn't have to add anything. Ghost immediately takes notice as they're walking away. One is is, is packing something in a, in a shoulder holster. Another one has 
um, some sort of melee weapon, probably a, a, a club, maybe something as, as, as fancy as brass knuckles, but nothing significant. The other one probably has a knife tucked somewhere. Ghost immediately, you know, quantifies and dismisses them. What kind of weapon? Can you tell from his uh, role? If it's a decent hand weapon, like a light arm, something he could use? Uh, like it's, what, what is a, it's, it's some sort of pistol on a shoulder holster you couldn't tell with time. Obviously small, so probably not powerful, probably not better than what you have. The other one, it looks like it has a knife, and one has some sort of basic melee club kind of thing. Okay. All right, so you guys are, the, the thugs have wandered away. You've taken your inventory of what they have. Uh, I will write the table that they upset. Bartender gives you a salute and sends over a drink. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you for How that. cute. <laughs> Thank you for not destroying the uh, bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he sends over a Romulan ale. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, that was interesting. Usually I get better, more of a reaction when I threaten people. You did quite well, young lady. They seem to believe you. Uh, I seem to believe in me as well. Oh, I certainly <laughs> believed you. <laughs> I had considered splitting them in half, but that was a good idea. It's a good, it, 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 it's a good thing they listened, because Ghost would have wasted the three of them before you guys even got off the table. There is only one problem. I do not have a garat. I was, I was not sure if you had one or not. Perhaps you should remedy that, young little one. Some nice computer wire could work in a pinch. <laughs> oh, we, 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 we've got wire. I, 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 I fixed it. It's, it's, in, it's in my toolkit. But that's why he doesn't have it, because I need it for my stuff. Pretty good. They have one club. The number two has got a tactical knife in his left boot, and number three has some sort of azimuth pistol substandard. I reckon there are about 17 shots left. You want to kill them in the restroom? No. I, I, river. I think we should we should just see what they do, and, and if we have to, let's get rid of them. I, you know what? Let's get rid of them. Watch what they do, then kill them. You tell me. Okay. That's little okay. ones. Little ones. I feel like they've been cowed enough. They are bothering no one else. Killing them would not even be sporting. Never mind honorable. Honor they weren't. They, they, they weren't honorable. Trigger. What are these words? <laughs> they are crazy words, Ghost. We don't listen to those words. I do not like that word. The big guy. The big I, horny guy. Horny guy. I, I fly them in my oh. ship and I'll drop them out into space. They're... they're 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 dummies. They're useless. Dummy they're like they're like those they're like those mean kids back at school. Mean kid bad. We kill mean kids. Mean kids bad. <laughs> they uh. You see one of them break off from the group. He makes a lewd comment toward one of the waitresses, gets slapped in the face, and proceeds to disappear. I would assume these are restrooms over here. Into the restroom. I tap go. Why are you going to Absalom Station? Yes, we're we're going. We're we're well, well, well yeah, yeah, that's where we're going. Yeah. Whoops. Ghost oh. gets up and disappears. <laughs> ghost, ghost, did that, ghost, did that beer go through you already? Yes. That it's going through me too. What is this? It's like it's like rust. <laughs> so, rolls a stealth to sneak his way into the bathroom. He rolls sure. Fifteen. All right. Um, the <coughs> I guess you counter his perception check. Yeah, he's 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 drunk and taking a leak. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen Crocodile Dundee too? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so, is he? Uh, uh, his back then is to Ghost. Yeah, his, his, his back is to Ghost. Mike, uh, Trigger, did you go too? No. Okay, you're, you're still you're still talking to Ozzy and Nala. Yeah, no, no. Go, go, Ghost has it. Go, go, Ghost can do this. Ghost is keeping you two occupied. I got it. Uh, he checks and sees if there's anyone in the restroom. You rolled a seven. <clears throat> uh, it would have looked too suspicious if we both walked in there. And there's, there's, even though you you had to roll a DC five on that one, it's a restroom. 
<laughs> the only thing that she could have missed was the guy. <laughs> <in> the <toilet. laughs> hey, there's a lot of aliens. They you never use, know. They yeah. use things differently. <laughs> Is this the guy with the pistol, the club, or the knife? Uh, the knife. Yeah. Uh, Ghost will uh, get behind the guy, pull his pants down so they're wrapped around his feet, and disabuse him of his knife. All right, so give me a... You want to disarm him? I'm just going to call that a dex check. I, 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 a particular... I'm going to call it an opposed dex check. He's had a few drinks, so he has a minus two. Four. Minus two is a two. <laughs> You need to use your fingers. No. Your check of a twenty-four. <laughs> you want to, you want to dictate what happens there? <laughs> uh, ghost, like uh, shadow, sneaks up behind the man, pulls his pants down, reaches into his boot, takes his knife, and then puts a knee in right into the crook of his knee, which causes him to kneel forward, pushing his face directly into the urinal, covering it with filthy water. And then he doesn't say anything. He just leaves. Did you add a knife to your inventory? I will add a knife to my inventory. <laughs> it's not a particularly sharp or well-cared for a knife. Okay. All right. So he's, he, he actually bangs his head on the way down and does not get up right away. Whether he's unconscious or drowning in there, does you don't know. <laughs> he turns to the table. Have a lot of much better. Yeah. That's true. Okay, good. As long as you're okay, because because I, I don't like you when you get anxious, because then I have to jump in, and and you know when I jump in, that's gonna be bad. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, trigger. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? You want okay. life? Yeah. Sure. 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 Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. We we need some more credits. We got, we got to get a few more credits, so let's save it. Maybe we can sell it to someone and 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 and, and get some credits. Right, everybody, everybody, give me a perception check. You can do better this time, buddy. I have awesome perception of four, five. Who rolled? The, you rolled a four, Mikey. I know. I rolled a fourteen. Okay. I. He rolled a four, but it became a fourteen. Yeah. <laughs> no, it wasn't that good, but so I rolled you, a fourteen. You've you've all you've been there for a little over an hour now. Bob, you, Bob's rolled a twenty-four. Yeah, he's, he's sitting on this side, seeing the rest of the bar. You guys are sitting on that side, looking towards. So o- over the course of the hour you've been there, the the news continues on a, almost on a you know it, it, it talks about the highlights. Yes, and it, it, you keep hearing another attempt to reach the Acreon, which you recognize as a ship name, was thwarted earlier today by the stewards. If you've read the background, the stewards are like the Jedi of the universe, the, the peacekeepers. Ever since returning from the drift with a strange asteroid in tow and all hands lost, all manner of people have attempted to reach the vessel. It's a vent horizon. The Pact Council is adamant in maintaining the quarantine until the legal matter of ownership is decided between the Hard Scrabble Collective and the and Astral Extractions. I didn't read up on those. I can tell you that they, they weren't they weren't read up. Okay. So um, everybody wants to give me a culture check. I will give each of you any information I have on those. So, are either of them uh, militaristic uh, organizations? 18. No. Niner. You haven't rolled above 10 yet, buddy. I rolled an actual one. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're going to sit down. I don't know nice For the second time in 11 years, 12 years. <laughs> He, doesn't, he rolls a D4 doesn't even roll one. I know. Forget about a D20. So, anybody who's rolled over a 12 recognizes that the... Um, Hard Scrabble Collective is a group of miners, <laughs> tough, tough gamers, tough, tough guys. Scrabble, and uh, that the oh, um, the Astral Projections is a large mining company that often hires other groups to prospect for them. I explained that to the group. So that the, actually, I have a question that um, for everybody, as I deal on call. Hold on a second. Um, when I when you make a successful role and as an information related role, do you want me to, in the future, uh, give you a handout so you can announce what you've learned, or do you just want me to say it? I, 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 I think you saying it is cooler and interpreting what I give you, but at the same time, I think it slows the game down. Yeah. 
it is cool for the person to say it, but I agree it's way more work for you as well. Because then he has to come up with, okay, this is this is what you say in a ten, this is what you say in a fourteen, this is what you say in an eighteen. This is what. Yeah, you... I, I um, I I I, I yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this is not in character. Okay. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> don't, don't, Josh. Just say it. it, it it's got it. Uh, to Jeff's point, it could be a tremendous amount of extra work for you to kind of set that up to hand it out to everybody. And then, what for me, like I'm remote all the time. You'd have to like either email me stuff in advance, potentially, and then I can't look at it. And you know, like I can't do that. You know. So. <laughs> well, I, I, mean, I could whisper it to you, but at the same time, okay. I, I just wanted to give that option that I know that, like I said, it's. I, I think that's fair, and I, I, I very much appreciate that being remote. Mike, you're um, out of character now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go to work tomorrow, and I'm going to be stuttering and stammering. <laughs> I, was pra- I was practicing today on a conference call with one of my employees. <laughs> Your character sounds very reminiscent of a, a program I don't think you've seen. It's only in Spain. It's uh, all in Spanish. It's called El Barco. It's about a bunch of people on a boat when all of a sudden a particle experiment goes wrong and all the land in the world seems to have disappeared. But they have a special needs cook assistant who happens to also be a genius, and his delivery is very similar to yours, except in Spanish. Oh, that's pretty good. And for some reason, everybody on the boat has to take their shirt off every episode. It's a code. <laughs> It's a, it's a Spanish thing, yeah. Yeah, 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 it's definitely a Spanish thing. There's only three shirts on set. They have, <laughs> have to rotate it around. Like, <laughs> cheap production costs. All right, so you, you get you get this, that's some background for the actual Dead Sons campaign adventure. Um, <clears throat> so as Adam yawns, the the night slowly comes to an end. Um, the ship is supposed to dock at Docking Bay at one of the docking bays 94? tomorrow. It is Docking Bay 94. You get the chip for recognizing the, the, the reference even before I said it. Um. <laughs> get out of my house. <laughs> so, um, 94. Oh, we should be getting near uh, Absalom Station soon. It, it'll be, it's during the drift. It will be about another 10 or 12 hours. So it'll be tomorrow, late morning, by the time you're done. You are welcome to spend more time in the bar. By the way, you each owe two credits. My drink was free. Not your first one. So, what was the worm platter you had? The gah. The gah. Oh, the gah. Mm-hmm. I, I pay. I, 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 I pay. I pay five credits. Two for me. Uh, two, two for ghost, and a, and a tip for the ugly bar guy. That's Stan Lee, dude. Yeah, yeah, no, no. He's he's he was he's wearing sunglasses inside. That that's that, 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 that's weird. All right, uh, you. Uh, I'm afraid to see what his eyes look like. Oh, that would be nice. It is not necessary. I have the credits. Please. Oh, thank you. I appreciate your company. Bugger! What do you know of law of the law enforcement on the loan station? <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Set that up. You want to know about law enforcement on Absalon Station? And I'm asking Bug Girl, yes. Not nah, Bug Girl? Uh, I am that... Well, I am that Bug. Bug is... Uh, Sh- Sherry? I am... La Shunta? You're very... Yes, but you have the things. You have the things. Look, the things. Yes, I have antenna. Like a bug. You are Bug Girl. Uh, I think directly to him. And I say, I am not Bug Girl. <laughs> God drops. <laughs> okay, you are not Bug <laughs> You are crazy hot Bug Girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I explained to him what the, how the Lashanta from Castro Bell and that they're uh, two subspecies, subraces, that one short and stocky, one is long and live, and that I was a long and live one, that we get to choose which one we become. You do that uh, mentally or tele- telepathically? Uh, I, no, I do that one out loud to, okay. to everybody. 
so, just to make sure everybody understands. Wait, 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 wait! I got, I got, I, I, I got a question. When do you choose? Because can you do it like when you're 12 or when you're 25 or or when you're 63? And and if you choose and you don't like it, can you go back and pick another one, or is it permanent? Like once it happens, does it happen? And, and is that it? Uh, you do it when the time is right. Usually you're around 12 to 14. Ooh. Yeah, I what happens. Sorry. I look around the bar for any. Uh, any other Le Shug type? Uh, give you perception. Nope. Hello, <laughs> I have no idea what a Le Shug looks like. <laughs> it's really dark where we are. <laughs> What's in this thing? <laughs> <laughs> so. All right. Um, it's getting a little late. It's up to you guys what you want to do for the night. If you want to turn in, if you want to wait, the ship is supposed to dock the next day. Um, fairly. Not too late in the morning. Well, the Starfinder Society has put me up in a decent uh, uh, room, so I'm going to go to bed. Okay. I need to talk to them. They gave you a room, and I invented it, and they didn't give me one. What is up with that? This is crazy. <laughs> How did you get a room from them? Yeah, uh, uh, Ozymandias will return to a shared cabin. <laughs> yeah, I know. I have to cold. <laughs> Somebody's putting cold hands on me. Some poor guy's watching is laughing at me. <laughs> Somebody. Somebody's like, yeah, I've been there. <laughs> I'm laughing at you right now. <laughs> Goose and I find an empty cabin, and we pick the lock, and we stay there. All right. Uh, I probably should have a sleight of hand check to pick the lock, but I'm going to hand wave it. You see, you take 20. Ooh. You, you manage to pick the lock. You get your room. <laughs> um, the night passes uneventfully. You wait the next morning, and uh, the captain is on the speaker saying, uh, if you look off the port side now, you'll see the Acreon with the uh, asteroid has been dragging along. It's, it's uh, since been named the... Shoot, I lost the word. The Acreon is a ship. The Acreon is the ship that, that you heard on the news about the other day. Uh, it's, been, it's, been, it's been called Drift Rock. It's been... Uh, people have been trying to get to it. Nobody knows what it is or what it's from, and right now the as you've probably heard on the news, astral uh, ex exhibitions and extractions in the Hard Scrabble Collective are, are, are hard at work trying to fight over who has access to it. Well, the so captain is. You can go by in slow motion. You can see the, the ship and the, the asteroid that's tethered to it. <laughs> while, uh, while the captain is talking, I turn to Ghost and I'm like, Ghost, Ghost, remember, that's the left side of the ship. Uh, left. Point to the star. Port, port to the left. Port to the left. Left. What is ghost intelligence? Thirty-seven. <laughs> ghost is actually very intelligent. Yeah, he's a, he's yeah. He just doesn't like using his smarts. He's he would not have been at the same school as us if he wasn't smart. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb stuff. <laughs> He put tomatoes in all of his food salads. <laughs> yeah. So he's super smart. He wouldn't have been at the school we were at together if he wasn't. He just likes to pretend that he is not smart. All right. All right. So the. Uh, do I check my notes here? Ah, this, this asteroid should belong to. I was in the Wayfinder faction. It's a valuable. It is, the, it is a rock. Why are people fighting over rock? Give me a culture check. Ghost, it's not just a rock. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a big rock. So, so Nala has some, some knowledge of this being relatively involved, relatively knowledgeable about the current events. The Hard Scrabble Collective, which was the miners, was hired by Astral Extractions to go prospecting for them. And they found this asteroid. So the hard scribble clock that believes that it's theirs. They found it. It wasn't something they were prospecting for. They weren't checking on a planet for astral project astral extractions. And astral extractions being the giant corporation believes everything's ours. Oh my god. <sighs> so, it's like giving a chart to go uh, colonize a planet when there's already colonists on it. Or it's like uh, creating trying to relaunch a movie uh So we're, like a movie store and talk about trade federations constantly. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> that so, really grabs the young viewers. Oh yeah. So anyway, the there, there's a, a dispute about who owns the, the drift rock, which is what they're calling the asteroid now. It's a rock. There are many oh, like you, you 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 should have seen the asteroid I left in the bathroom this morning. <laughs> oh, stinky! Oh, God. Azamanti left one. Sorry, it was that cheese. That cheese was bad. <laughs> All right, so uh, the ship docks, and we're going to take a, a two minute break. So I got to remind my wife to go get Jules. So if anyone needs to use the bathroom, now would be the time. Jeff, I, just, I just used it. I left an asteroid in it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. two I just used it too. I left a Yosoki in it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, Adam. Very good. Oh, yeah. I didn't drink too. <clears throat> All right, Bob, this is more fun than I thought. <laughs> you guys are doing well together. I like it. You haven't backstabbed anybody yet, Mike. It's got to feel weird. It is a little strange. Um, oh, it's very weird playing the guy who's like encouraging the other guy to go do that <laughs> instead of just going to do it myself. I think it's a white character. <clears throat> So, interesting show that I've been watching on Netflix, Bob. Um, it, it, like, I don't know how I found it and why I started watching it, but um, well, because I, I have I have uh, friends of mine. They they have uh, an autistic son uh, who's like seven or eight now, and so there's this show on there called Atypical on Netflix. And it's all about this family. I mean, they make a lot of extra drama in the show, obviously to tell it, but the, 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 the person who plays the, the autistic son is like, I mean, I, I don't think he's autistic, but I mean, obviously, cause, but he, it, it's, it's, he's, a, he's spectacular in the show. It's pretty funny. Um, yeah, it's, it's a very interesting show. Like <clears throat> I, I, you know, cause I always wondered like, how how much work you know how hard it's got to be or what it is and you know and just kind of you know because I've I've heard them talk about like you know the kind of the kind of therapy he goes through and you know we, we think about it from the ambulance perspective there's more and more autistic kids how do you how do you deal with them right um, and actually the father's an EMT in the in, in the show oh, yeah so very very interesting show I, I um. Uh, I've kind of gotten sucked into it. I've watched like the first two seasons of it now. Oh, there's multiple seasons. All right. Yeah, yeah. I might recommend that to Andrea. You know, she's uh, burning through seasons of various things that she's recovering. So. Oh, see it. Yeah, yeah. See if she, she might be interested in it. It's I, I so far I found it fascinating, um, and and I almost kind of wish that I was still on an ambulance years ago. Like if I knew know this. Like there's a lot of interesting information on on and one of the, one of the sh episodes actually is how they how to they teach first responders on how to deal with uh, kids on the spectrum. Really? Yeah, like that's like, that. yeah. Well, it's it, yeah. No, I know. I it I, I, I it, it kind of opened my eyes. Like holy crap, we're missing a a huge opportunity from a training perspective here. That's really yeah. Check it out. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, no. Has anybody checked out Jules? We go. <laughs> Has anybody checked out Evil Genius on um, Netflix? So I have it in my watch list, but I haven't started it yet. It is. It's. Watch that one tomorrow. Evil Genius. It's a. It's about a true story. That happened in uh, like in Erie, Pennsylvania, in like yeah, late nineties, early two thousands. We're like two episodes in, and we can't wait to watch uh, more of it. Oh, nice. Kayer, are you actually drinking wine? No. Yeah, today we had cheese and crackers and meat for dinner, so wine became a more op choice. Wow. Whoa. As we, as we get older, our tastes change. No, it's about all. You guys, <laughs> yeah, you right guys right. actually, Josh and Jeff and Adam, you guys would love it out here. There's like... For like a hundred thousand people, there's like thirty-seven microbrews, oh like God. like different like different places. There's like I, I don't know, it's like a microbrew place per hundred headcount or something like that. It's so that covers Jeff, but what will Adam and Josh do? 
<laughs> well, there's a there's a vineyard up the street for Josh now. Apparently, yeah, Jeff they have wine tasting. Wine What's that, bud? Jeff's drinking wine too. Oh my gosh, wow. that's Jeff's hand. <laughs> I, I, you know what? Now I really miss being there because now I would have had a drink with you guys. I actually like wine, so. Oh. <laughs> Keep that in mind next time you come down, man. Not that I, not that I drink a whole lot, but. Like, I'd rather have a glass of Pinot Noir or... That's exactly what we're drinking. That's the best box we can find. <laughs> the best box you can find. Dude, that black box that sticks to my stove when I'm cooking, I'm drinking. <laughs> oh, my God. It's the oldest sell-by date they could find. That's yeah. Really fast. McMurray. No, don't worry about that. <laughs> sell-by date is only when the box has to last a long time. Yeah. McMurray. Great Pinot Noir. One of my favorites. Black box. Black box. I was, if I'm gonna, right, a, I guess when you're feeding Jeff, black box is the way to go. Yeah. <laughs> if, I, if I'm going to pick a Pinot Noir by name, McMurray is not what I'm choosing. <laughs> That'd be a good scotch. Or a, or a, a stout. You know? <laughs> yeah, generally not what you would think. You're absolutely right, Adam. But fantastic yeah. Pinot Noir. Huh. Yeah. All right. All right. So uh, the ship docks at Docking Bay 94. Adam got the reference first. He collected his, his Benny for that. Sorry, I'm just gonna Docky Bay ninety four. Ninety four would be where Han Solo's money That's Falcon where was Falcon docked was in, parked in, uh, in New Hope. Yeah, in uh Tashi That's Station. It wasn't Tashi Station. It was uh Correct. Los Isley Space Los Isley. Well, yeah, Los Isley. Uh, so the, <clears throat> the um, uh, so. Nala is is getting ready to disembark and um, both Ozzy and the Rat Pack. Oh! <laughs> can can see, see her getting ready. And, I, and go ahead. I texted you who you're looking for. I don't have my phone. Oh. <laughs> Where is it? I left it up here. I appreciate I that. I didn't need it. I, I was playing. I appreciate I that. He didn't need it because Joel isn't there. <laughs> I know. Joel's one who doesn't need his phone. <laughs> I just texted him the name of the person he was looking for. I told him earlier in the day, but I figured he needed it in front of him now. I still need it because I forgot. I have a time over here. <laughs> what is, what's your call? Duraval Creel. It's a dwarf. I'm looking for a little, like a placard. No, it's a dwarf. Looking for there aren't too many of them. Trigger, do you think they will take us because we have no reservation? No, no, no. I think we can make this work. But, We'll just kind of follow her. She won't even know it. We'll be right behind her. But we're not supposed to be here. No, no, no. It's okay. We have we have tickets. Oh, okay. <laughs> Trigger. Yeah, yeah. We don't have tickets. No, 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 no. Shh. I I made some last night. I forged them. Oh. Okay. What's that? No ticket. <laughs> <laughs> he had no ticket. <laughs> don't drop it. Ticket? What? Yeah, don't. No. <laughs> that one wasn't veiled. That one wasn't obscure enough. No, nope. that wasn't. That was an easy one. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. We, we, go, it's okay. It's okay. We got tickets. Okay. Yep. All right, so Nala begins to disembark. <clears throat> Nala, are you meeting with one of the Starfinder Society? I hope so, be. What rank does this person hold in the Starfinder Society? Uh, Gravelar Creel, he, he is an assistant to one of the forum members. Perhaps uh, I should speak with him as well. Perhaps he can help me find the helmets. Oh, oh, Azzy, 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 Azzy man, Azzy man, Azzy man, Azzy man. I, I, we know, I, I know the, I know, I, I know, I, I know the assistant to, to the, to the assistant, to the assistant, to the assistant of the, of the guy who, who, who invented the, 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 the Starfinders. Uh, it's Ghost. He's right here. <laughs> well, thank you, little one, but I am truly looking for the hell, the hell finders, the hell knights, right. the hell knights. Ooh, ooh, that sounds scary. Thank you for your offer, but I will be speaking with the true with uh he, he is the uh, assistant to the regional manager. Yes. He has a few fewer assistants in his title. I think he may be able to help me better. 
Hey, um, can I got a, I, I got, a, I got a question. Who, 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 who's walking around the dock in that blue T-shirt? <laughs> that would be Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Elizabeth is in our. Oh, oh, hi, Elizabeth. Hello, Elizabeth. <laughs> Hi, Elizabeth. Oh, yeah. Hi, Liz. <laughs> there, Liz. How's it going? Good. How is, how's Andrea? She's doing good. Getting better every day. See how good we trained her? <laughs> and she actually cares where Jules would just be doing the, the appropriate social braces. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was... <Andrea>. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me write that down. There's something wrong with Andrea? What? Oh, Andrea. Yeah. <laughs> My was yeah. Okay. What or how? I'll just stay under the bed. The hand room. I got to admit, I'm a little bit of a tool. I care. I just forget. Yeah. I don't work as well. I don't work as well. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, right. Good night, just in case it's a difficult situation. All right. Good night, everybody. Good night, Liz. Good night, Liz. Oh. My, 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 he's in costume. He's playing a rat character. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you take I tried to make my whiskers move, but it doesn't work. Thank you. All right. So you are triggering. Ghost, why don't you come with me? Oh, we would, we would be, we would, what? We would, oh, wh where are we going? The starfighters are always looking for help. Oh, oh, yeah, no, I, I know that. That's, that's why I set up the organization that way, so that they would always need help. Ah, <laughs> right. Of course. Somehow I get the feeling the little one doesn't always tell the truth. Abby, what does he want a little bit? What? Okay, well, ghost, ghost, we're gonna follow the the Nala bug. We're following bug girl, yes. Oh yeah, yes, yes, we're following her. Should I kill her? No, 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 no. We don't kill the. We don't kill her. She's probably our best shot. They haven't realized yet that I'm lying about the whole Starfinder thing. So, 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 so maybe she can get us in. So she because. Is the plan. Yeah, no, no, she's the plan right now. We changed the plan. I mean, I changed the plan. Yeah, I, no, I, yeah, I changed it. I changed it because the other plan was not as good as what this one's going to be. You have the good plan. I always have good plans. Yes, yes. So I'm and looking that, for and that, that, the Aussie guy, we should, we, should, we, we, we should talk him into coming too. Uh, why? He eats a lot of cheese. No, no, he, well, yeah, he's, it, it would be expensive to feed him. But he Water. looks like he, 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 he it looks like he's got credits. I think we should kill him and take that. No, 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 no. I he's he's good to he's a good fighter. I can tell. I I. Do you know how I know? Do you know how I know? You want me to tell you? I'll tell you. Let me tell you how I know. He's big, 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 big. When I was just a little rat, I knew this guy named Ekarath. <laughs> Yeah, he was <laughs> he was monstrous. He made he was like oh my god, he was so big. And 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 when 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 I was in trouble, he would always protect me. So you're like him, but just in a smaller p p package. <laughs> so Ekarat had a small package. Got it? Yes. <laughs> that's, cause, that's only because his scales were covering it. Yes, yes. Okay, you tell me when to kill him. Okay, no killing, no killing anybody right now. No killing. You just stay behind me and, and follow, 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 follow my lead. Okay, Trigger. All right, we follow Nala. Down. All right, so you, you disembark. And I follow closely. She smells nice. <laughs> yeah, now, you I enjoy following her. I need a perception check for that. Okay. <laughs> you definitely enjoy following her at... Her five foot ten. Oh my god! I rolled another one. <laughs> Get him out of the way now, dude. Dude, you, you think she had an accident coming off the ship? <laughs> you, yeah, it's it's actually she, odd that you smell. <laughs> she smells like bug spray. <laughs> smells like bug spray. <laughs> Sorry, Adam. I couldn't resist. That's good. Oh, it's ninety four in the book. 
Yeah. Oh, bravo, bravo to Paizo. <laughs> bravo to Paizo. Damn, that's good. You uh, <laughs> Mark. Um, you can see so each each square here is five feet, but you can see up to the, the, the towards the top there. You can see um, a dwarf. Oh, follow me. Oh wow, he's way up there. Okay. Um, everybody, give me a perception check, please. Okay. Eighteen. Oh, 19. Finally, a good roll. You didn't roll over a 10, but you rolled a 10 finally. No bonus. No bonus. bonus. I have two Ghost. skills. Ghost rolled a 14. I rolled a 19. No no modifiers or anything to my perception. Just right. straight Ghost. 19. Ghost, you rolled a 14. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, okay, this puts me in a weird situation, but I'm gonna—I I will express. La, 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 no, 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 no. It's okay. It doesn't matter. La, 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 la. No, it doesn't matter. Oh, so a <laughs> DC 15 perception check grants. Well, those who score a DC 15 perception check will act during the round when the bad guys come in. There's bad guys. There's bad geese. Whoa, wait bad a geese. So, Bob, if you want to use your your Benny Benjamin to get your plus one. You would be able to act during that round. Now, don't forget, acting on a surprise round in Pathfinder allows you a single action. I'm going to hold off on that for now, but good to know. All right. So for those who rolled over a 15, every, all of you saw Creel standing there at the, toward, toward the top. Oh, good. I'm glad my 10 wasn't useless. Uh, everybody else, you can recognize dwarves. <laughs> They're little, but not your soaky little. Recognize, recognizes a um, uh, small group of individuals coming in from both the north west and the northeast, taking up positions that clearly are providing some type of cover. Jesus, spread them out a little more, why don't you? It, it actually calls for slightly less individuals, but since I know you guys have no problem whenever I put a count an encounter in front of you. I might have increased each side by one. I say we shoot the dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> then we can get a good this crew. Yeah. Josh is one square equal ten feet or one square equals five feet. One equal equals five feet. And then so the combat They open fire on each other. What are they? Oh they're against each other? Yes, well they're opening fire all over the place. Nice. <laughs> What's this right here? Those that represent crates that are a cover. So pretty much all of them have some 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 sort of cover based on where they're positioned on the map. And they're shooting just everywhere or they are shooting everywhere. So here is how okay, so so we step off the ship into a firefight. Or a firefight breaks out the moment we step Shortly off. after you step off the ship, yes. Okay. You, you know, the, sh the ship you guys get off the ship, <clears throat> people are dispersing. You recognize Creel as the place starts to, to, to empty out, and these both of these groups come in and start shooting at each other. Everybody, please roll me a d6. No bonus. Cinco. Cinco. Five. Come on, Bob. Roll a five. You gotta roll a five, Bob. Bob. Uh, roll a four. Bob, roll a four. Bob's dead. Oh, whoa, whoa. Stop. He's in character. You must refer to him in character. Ghost roll the four. Mm -hmm. I see, yeah, ghost. I thought Bob rolled a four for ghost. <laughs> and if you die in the game, you die in real life. Just like the <laughs> Chick Track said. You're dead. We can't talk to you anymore. <laughs> All right. So, like uh, everybody who rolled a DC, uh, roll over a 15 or higher on the check, which was Nala and uh, Naala. Trigger? Naala and Trigger. <laughs> you can add. I actually need to well, put it, the initiative tracker up here. Do, 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 do. Let me see how to remember how to do this. See, Adam, and you were joking about me being like, the you know, the horse, and here I am. I'm going to ride Nala. <laughs> hey. There you go. Add turn. Wasn't that uh, 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 Simba's girlfriend too, Nala? Yes. Oh, crud. Yes. Oh crud! I what did, did not, you do, Ray? I did not assign it. I did not bring you in from the character sheet. I brought you in from the um, 
tokens. No, yeah. really did it this time. Ghost now. Right. Yeah. When Breaker. somebody asked you, I can barely tell what those tokens are for. Yeah, I, it's this is a big map, and I, I don't particularly care for it. It's yeah, I noted. I, I I had to do a lot of scrolling to find all six of those guys. Stop yeah, I don't know. We, we zoomed out way far, but I'm almost looking at the turn order, and it's like, yep, there's tokens there. Don't know what the pictures are, but there's tokens there. <laughs> All right, let me hold on a second. I always forget you can zoom out. Thank you for reminding me of that, Adam. I just assume whatever map pulls up that that's the size I have to look at it. <laughs> oh, Nala, Ozzy. I love how he's dragging them and dropping them. It looks like they're coming from out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> and it, I'm, I'm going to add your. I did not add yours until. I'll add yours later, Mikey, but right now. You just have a basic. Uh, I was thinking token. about looking at those barrels on the right. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Being in a suit soldier. Work, stop calling me. Dan wasn't kidding when he said it doesn't stop calling. Oh, yeah. That's why I rebooted him every night. <clears throat> I was going to say I'm going to act him, but I don't know if I can. I did. All right. It's so a trigger. You have no picture. I'll, I, I'll fix that later. No worries, that's, that's okay. We know he's going to go first anyway. He's in disguise. Ah, ghost. Oh, hey, there's names. Uh, I'm going to delete this ghost because it doesn't count. <coughs> I'm going to add this guy for the villains. I'm going to add this guy. I'm going to that guy. All righty. I need initiatives. Oh, crud, that's a whole new roll. It's a D20, dude. Yeah, what was the point of the D6s? Uh, if you roll, every turn you'll roll a D6. If you roll a 1, you will be targeted ah. accidentally or potentially by these guys. I'll take a 13. So for the initiative, we add whatever we roll plus our plus the initiative, right? That plus whatever we have? Yes. Okay. Four. <laughs> I was happy with a 15. <laughs> 22. 22. Two, two. Seriously? For your trigger. 8.05? Yeah, the um the point zero five is really your bonus, your your bonus to initiative, and so it's a tiebreaker. So it, now you know what my bonus is, it's plus five to admit. So Oh okay. That way if we have a if both people get an eight, we look at our bonuses and compare whoever's got the highest score first. Whoa. Wow. I rolled amazingly well. Right. Yeah, for being a, a combat mercenary guy. Not doing too well with this fight that's happening right in front of me. All right. Uh, Nala, Nala, you are up. I yell to everybody <coughs> to all dive to the left and try to get these boxes in front of us. And I run over to here and I try to pull this at, a, at an angle to protect us from both sides. All right. So what is your move? 30. Right. So that would be six squares? Yep. All right. Is that you? Cut even I can't tell. I go. This is me right here. Look at me. Yeah, you're the top. Sounds top. like a song. <laughs> Everybody to the left, to One. the left. Oh, okay. So watch this. Wait, wait for it. Measured ruler. And does this measure diagonals? 25 feet to there. I tried to pull <gasps> this one out. That's awesome. Whoa. I tried to pull this third one out towards in front of us. All right, so Nala moves. You're going to move over there, Nala? Yep. Somebody needs to be like, ooh. I know, Nala. Ah. I can't move this. Ah. I, I can't move this. this can't. Upper, I cannot move this box, but Nala moves it over to provide additional cover. I, 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 try to move, I try to move this third box. So we still have the protection okay. against these guys. So you're trying to move one around you? Yeah. All right, give me a strength check. DC 15. Nope. <laughs> 11. Now I was struggling to move the box, and she's unable to do so. In the meantime, come over and help. <coughs> In the meantime, the, the, the blue group, which is top left, uh, opens fire on the yellow group.
Uh, one one hits, two hits. Wow, I got to keep some track here. <laughs> <clears throat> and the other one was the other group. Uh, my mat? for crawling. I have a side note. Is the door to the ship closed, or can we yeah. just go back into it? The door to the ship closed as soon as something was fired. The safety, okay. As a safety mechanism. Uh, Maybe Spinner turned knocking on the door. <laughs> okay. Let me in. Let me in. They're shooting out here. You seem to have closed the door. <laughs> I hate rolling combat when you guys aren't in it. You're you're, 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 I'm, I'm like three and a half feet. Like I can just walk to the crate. I don't even have to duck. <laughs> What's all the shooting going on? <laughs> all right. Um, trigger. You're up. Yes. Uh, trigger, because of all the shooting, is going to follow Nala um, as he... Um, uh, as he as his move action, he's going to uh, move for cover. Um, and as he is moving, he um, you guys notice he takes on a slightly different tone with Ghost. Ghost, I need you to listen. We're going to take cover. Do not run out. You notice he changes his tone and his stuttering seems to slightly disappear. But he's also talking slower and more deliberate. Is this a to kill them? No. I think I see the dwarf ahead. Do you see him? I saw him, yes. We will go for cover. No killing. Not yet. Yeah, but I really think it should be killing the dwarf, man. What about that one over there? No, no, no. He's on our team. Uh, are you sure? So far. All right. Now hurry, hurry, come, 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 follow me. And I run over to cover. All right, you run oh, over to cover. Do I have the ability to draw my pistol as well at this point? Or is that like too many yeah, actions? I don't. Yeah, you, you can draw the pistol. Actually, if, well, there's a rule. Because I, I did a move and I was talking. I didn't know if like that, like, I don't know if, I don't know how talking works in this game versus. It's a, it's a swift action. <laughs> Okay. If if I can draw my pistol, I would have my pistol out as I get to cover. I thought I was going really good with uh, Trigger, one thing. Uh, you've yeah. With, uh, Ghost, and you've known him long enough. Yes, you know he is very, very fast. Like, he can cover the entire distance of the room. Oh, yeah, probably before anybody got a shot off. So... Yeah. Uh, trigger makes it over. The, this is only the surprise round, so only Trigger and Nala act. Okay. Right. So that means that that uh, Ozzy and Ghost are flat-footed. Yes. Until our turn on the next on the first full round. Yes. I don't remember what flat-footed does. Uh, it means yeah. Uh, no dex bonus to AC, I think, and you get a minus two to AC. Oh, okay. Oh, and no oh. attacks of opportunity. Yeah, no, I was saying no opportunity attacks. All right, the, the other group, the yellow group, um, they, they take their turns firing. Um, not realize it all happens at once, so you can't keep track of what happens. Yeah. Um, Thurval Creel takes a shot. You can't tell from where. He drops. Shots fire in both directions. Both groups are hit. Uh, and it's top of the order. Everybody acts regularly now. Uh, everybody roll me a D6, please. Six. Uno. Oh. Shoot the giant lizard. D6. Good thing I have a huge AC. All right. Okay. Oh, Mikey's using the, the, the thing to roll? What's going on there, Mikey? No, no, no. I just typed that in, bud. Oh, perfect. Give me a D6 roll, please. He did. It's a six. I did. It's a six. Oh, okay. Ghost got a three. <laughs> All right. Um, so, Nala, you're up first. This is clearly uh actually now give me a culture check. 
you're you're a little more familiar with the, with with <coughs> station. Yes, twelve. Uh, you you. It looks like this is some sort of gang interaction. They're not. Uh, they're not well equipped or outfitted. So uh, there there's definitely and you, you are aware of gangs gang activity on the station. Guys, come over and hide over here. And I try one more time to pull that big heavy. I tell Trigger, help me with this. We'll find out what Trigger does in Trigger's yep. turn. <laughs> the uh, okay, the blue guys in turn go. Uh, it was it, we get targeted on the one, right? Yes. I roll the one. Yes. Okay. Just make so sure. the one targeting you. Oh, well, target. Roll the. <laughs> That's gonna hit. And just to clarify, flat-footed is only a minus two. It is not a uh, removal of your dex bonus. I just double check. Okay, well, it's still hit. Even if I wasn't flat-footed, that would hit. Three damage. Three. Uh, so, so that's three damage to your, your stamina. stamina. So it brings... Ah! Oh, watch your fire! The the laser blast cuts in, burns a slight hole into your into your shoulder armor, leaving a mark on your left shoulder. It, it, we wouldn't be able to tell. <laughs> ghost, 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 his left shoulder, that's the port side shoulder. What? <laughs> port side. Uh, kill All right. Him now. Kill him now. He's wounded. No, no, no. We need him still. We'll kill him later, maybe. Trigger's up. Trigger. Trigger um, turns to Ghost again and says, don't run off. Not yet. And then he turns to Nala and... Um, with all of his little rat strength, he pushes Nala because, like, she's giant and in his way. And the only okay. thing he can do is kind of help push Nala to push the box. Each of you give me a strength check. Total has to be 15. <clears throat> Two. Plus your strength bonus? Uh, no. Minus my strength. Is uh, <laughs> a two. Come on, I rolled, I rolled a 16. All right. So you, you push Nala <laughs> and, and the crate into position to provide some, some additional cover. So I will, because I can, draw a shape. There's additional so, cover there now. I'll try that, but that's fine. Come on, that was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Liz just turned in a few minutes ago. If I go. Talk around and give a kiss. Okay. We'll put the mat. We'll put their things up in a minute. Uh, After we one. move it, is, is talking still a free action in this game or no? Yes. It is a, no, it is a swift action. It is a swift action. Swift. It's the okay. Oh, no, I'm pretty sure talking is free. No, it's swift. Everybody roll me a D6 again. We should roll D6 each time each group goes. Five. D6 again. Four. Five. Ghost. Ghost got a five. Oh, I see that now. Thank you. All right, so they all back together. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thanks for coming. Hey, no problem. Happy to, to be a part of it. We love it when you're a part of it, Aim. <laughs> Can you take him off with? Where's the night time Sure. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you, too. All right. Make Josh do something. Happy Thanksgiving, Amy. Yeah. Get the roll things out of the garbage. Jules! Stop the eating, paper. Stop eating out of the yeah. garbage, Jules. Stop being Henry. <laughs> they open fire. One, one, one more of the blue guys take some damage. Uh, Ozzy, you're up. I need the roll of paper used for that. There's a giant roll. We can pitch no, some more. Outside. I, I, need, I just need a roll. Ozzy, so you're up. Pretend uh, to Ozzy Mandius will move his uh, full movement of 30 feet over into cover. Grab the uh, other rat as you're coming. Cover where? Uh, with the rest of the group to the left. Come on, he is going to avoid combat? That is... It's not his fight. Is that good? Oh, that was yeah, let, let these idiots kill themselves, and then we can just walk up to the dwarf. Uh, if there's anything there that, that he can use to provide cover... He will do that. If he is behind the box. And he will also drop prone okay. and uh, pull out his tack lash whip. 
and ready, ready his tacklash whip in his hand. Frank, oh, and God. from and from behind him, Lesnar, he Lesnar. hears he hears a he hears a little voice go, "Ooh, <laughs> I've always wanted to see one of those." You, you've missed the sitcom comedy tonight. <laughs> on, it just you know, on his other hip is a sword. Ooh, it is that? Laser, I haven't decided yet. What's that on your other side that is hard and shiny? Uh, Jules is here. Well, that was quick. All right, Ozzy's up. I mean, Ozzy just finished. Uh, you, well, you moved and you you had time. You could have done more. Yeah, I just thought his fight. All right. Yes, he's made that abundantly clear. Person you're supposed to meet is dead because of one of these groups, though. There are other star finders. Ghost. Well, I'm going to stick my neck out for this. You're on mute, bud. Ghost? Ghost is on mute, but he rolls a perception check of 19. He's trying to perceive whether or not he is on mute. Uh, I have percepted that I'm on mute. And, uh, <laughs> and the, what I wanted to do is I wanted to look at the, the groups that are firing at each other. Can you see uh, if they have any like insignias, uh, or wearing uniforms, any notable features that distinguish them from the other? Colors. All right, give me a One culture check Skyler as well. Red and blue. Yeah, the others are just Oh, you notice one group is blue and one is yellow. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Yeah, you, you you can you can tell that there are definitely two rival gangs based on the colors, but you really can't tell more than that. Somebody with a better culture check, like Nala, might be able to tell you the names of them. Uh, one last question: uh, Was I able to observe which side shot the dwarf? No. You notice you notice that the blue guys are known as the Star Crips. And the yellow guys are the moon bloods. <laughs> you, do know, you do notice. Okay, yeah. uh, so, so just just to make sure everybody realizes what, what what you can see here. So this thing in the center here, that's like kind of an information counter. You there's cover all the way around that. There's a raised area. You, you see, you go inside the circle. Um, this is some sort ah. of this is some sort of vehicle. So it may or may not drive. Um, and the other stuff are boxes and crates of, of one type or another. Trigger, I go to you. I can make it to the booth. I can go to the dwarf. I can go to the car. All right, so we are back at the top of the... Uh, Ghost, are you done? Uh, I, I, I'm going to tell Ghost that he should get to the dwarf if he can. Okay. Or, or, or you could just stay here and let them fight it out. Is the perception check uh, a standard action, or is that... I'm a very large lizard. The, protection, the, the perception check is your standard action. Uh, you person. still have a move. You can tell the dwarf is dead or almost dead. Uh-huh. Well, that, that, that's why I want him to try to get to the dwarf. Okay. Then... I, he, also has, the dwarf is dead. he also has, just okay. FYI, he's got medical. The dwarf is dead. Oh, he's dead. I, the I dwarf is taking a critical hit. Dead. We'll leave it at that. Okay, all right. If do, Was I able to tell that, Josh? Because then I would tell him not to go that way. Like He's the one who made the perception check. Oh, right, okay. I did not know that. Okay. Go to dwarf. Dwarf is dead. No dwarf. No dwarf. Can you get? Can you get to the vehicle? Okay. He races to the vehicle. Uh, Ghost has a feat. It is called. He can make enormous leaps. When he's running, he moves six times his land speed. Wow. His land speed is thirty. So he runs 180 feet, which is 18 squares. And while he's running, he's flat. flat. All right. What he, is ma- this? he makes uh, it into the vehicle. Blur. That's what he is. <laughs> what is he, he's the Flash. What is this thing called? Uh, it's called Jet, Jet Dash. Dash. Jet Dash. Yeah. Sorry, Adam. I, I knew he had that, so that's why I... That's what I'm curious. Did she take Henry with her? Did she? Oh, I, think she did. Oh. I, just, I was really expecting her to be correct. Okay. He, uh, he drops prone inside the car, and that's the end of his turn. 
All right, top of the order, Nala. And he's not flat footed. Oh, here he is. Uh, I am going to faint a clever faint this guy right here. All right, what is that? My action. Uh, I fake out an enemy within 60 feet. Oh, wait, well, uh, well, let's see. That's close. That's close. Hey, no, it's not. Not even, not even. <laughs> not even close. I will not be doing that then. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. <laughs> I wonder if that, that is very cool, Josh. It actually very you, cool. It actually gives you the option to count them as Pathfinder or D and D. Nice, because yeah, D and D there are no diagonals, but Pathfinder, your first yeah, diagonal is one, your second one is two, your third one is one, one and a half. Yeah, it averages it out. Yeah, I kind of squat down and look around the corner to look up to. Uh, do you move around here so you can to hear? Dracolo sphere to see if he's alive. You're, you know, we're in the Dracolo sphere now. You need Dracolo Creole. Um, you have a medical or a perception, or what do you got for me? To, I mean, yeah, he, medical. He is uh like a hundred feet away from you too. I'll do a medical check from hundred and, and eighty from eighty five feet. This is a huge map. <laughs> when I was when I was setting up seven. When I was setting it up today, it was a huge map. He's just too far to tell. You, you can tell he's taking something that's he's hurt, guys. moral he, damage, but he, he is on the ground. I gotta just put the, 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 the mats up. <laughs> the dwarf is dead. Yeah, the dwarf is dead. Dead dwarf. Dead dwarf. Dead. Dead dwarf. I mentally talk to Ghost. Say, so, Ghost, can you see the dwarf? What's the range on that? Yes, I can see that dwarf. Far, Dwarf dead. No, nope, 30 feet. Nope. Sorry. 30 oh, no, no, can't hear you. Uh, nope. Well, you know when you have a puppy and the puppy dies and your family say he's in a farm happy? The dwarf is in a farm happy. Where are we? He's in heaven. He's very happy. He's with the other dwarves. They all run around happy. <laughs> <coughs> My uh, my exocortex allows me. It, it has a communication ability that I can communicate to Ghost Nala. Like, what you have, like a communicator that I built. No, you are the AI. AI. AI baby, love the AI. Is it like just a Bluetooth, basically? It's, what it's like a, one of those things in my ear. Yeah, kinda. As I go up in levels, I can make more of them. Very cool. Archive. Wow. Now all the way. Now it's the blue guys. Now it's the blue guys. Sorry. Or, or the yellow guys. It's the blue man group's turn. Mm hmm. Everybody roll D6. Next. Okay. Three. A tray. Give me a closer check. Fifteen. You you reckon uh now I'll recognize the groups as the No. <laughs> oh, he's talking to Henry. <laughs> 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 now it recognizes the blue guys as the level 21 crew. They occupy level 21 of Absalon Station. Oh, I thought they were all level 21. I'm like, I'm not getting in that Holy fight. Sh and um, the yellow group as the downside kings. All right. The, um, They're way more creative than the level 21 guys. They must, be, they must all have like an intelligence of nothing. They're like, we'll just name our gang after the floor that we live on. Actually, I think they were also on 21, but level 21 had already been taken, so they didn't want to move. So they came up with that name instead. They came up with that name. So, guys, I want you to know I just rolled four D20s. Four right. D20s. Well, one for each of them. Holy I rolled, crap. I rolled, the highest die I rolled was a four. Oh, my God. So, and a two. And a one. And one, two, three, four. And another one. Seven. Seven. <laughs> Seven. These guys are located in each other. I get it. 
I don't think you'd have to check to see if they were. So what he's saying is run for an easy campaign, guys. Run malfunction. <laughs> One, one guy, you're right, you you know what? There are two critical failures, guns malfunction, and um, ghetto guns. Wow! I rolled a D4. I rolled two guys take significant damage from gun malfunctions. They take full damage on themselves. Wow! Trigger. So they're not producing cheap weapons. Are the two that have the gun malfunctions? Because presumably they're not going to be able to fire. Um, this one, come on, oh, I gotta get in the right button, this guy, and this guy. Okay. Actually, you know what, no, this guy, and this guy. This guy's pretty close, you could probably take him out pretty easily. Alright, it is Trigger's turn. Trigger is going to communicate to Ghost, 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 it's Trigger, can you hear me? I can hear you. Roger. Okay. Can you can you is is that vehicle can you can you can you start can you can you start that and drive that over here? The vehicle is on your starboard side. Over. No, it's on my port side, the port side. The starboard side's the other side. Other side. Port left. Port left. But I am on the right side. No no, you drive to the left. Well you want me to drive to the port? Yes. Okay. The port of call. I think I can start. I don't know. Okay, try, and then drive over here. Okay, I could, I could hit him with the car. Yeah, no, no. Okay, so drive, turn starboard, run him over, and then drive over here. This is a good plan. I like this plan. I know. I'm going to let you kill somebody. <laughs> yes, I kill him. Yes, please kill him, and then come over here. Quickly. Well, here's the guy right next to me. You're talking about killing that guy? Yeah, he's going to try to start the vehicle and drive over him, and then drive over to us. So he's going to go to the starboard side. I'm a, I'm a pilot, so I talk in port and starboard, just so you know. Ah. Very tight turning range. Okay, so that was your that was your swift action. Actually, that probably, that probably might yeah. be a move action. Oh, I don't know. You tell, you, you tell me. I, 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 this, the mechanics on this part are a little weird from D&D &D world, so... I'm, just, I'm used to having like too many things to do, and now I have like two things I can do. Tell me what you want to do, and we'll make it work if we can. Okay, basically, all I want to do is communicate to Ghost what I wanted to communicate to him, and then, if at all possible, um, you, no, want I don't want to, I, you know what? I don't want to shoot that guy. Actually, I don't really want to shoot him. That's all I want to do. I want to communicate to Ghost. What I want to do, and then I'm done with my turn. Who are you? Who's this guy pretending to play Mikey tonight? I don't want to shoot that guy. I know, right? <laughs> That's because Mikey wants to get up and close and personal. He wants to stab him. Then shoot the guy <laughs> to your left. He's close. He's only like 20 feet away. I, you know what? This is the character I'm playing. He's not necessarily going to shoot unless he has to. You play characters? I'm trying. <laughs> hey, Mikey, just a reminder, if you... Um... If it's close to the end of your turn, you might want to drop prone because as a Yusoki, you can use the swift action to get up from prone, unlike anybody else. Yes. That gives you a plus four to your armor class. What's the what's the height of these boxes? Three point six feet. meters. They're about as big as a box. Three point six feet. It's a, it's a square meter. It's a square meter. What a jackass. <laughs> Square meter. Actually, based on the size of them, they're five foot square. They're slightly less than five foot square. So it might be four foot, but whatever. Okay, so basically, standing up, this thing is still taller than me. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> okay, I, I'm I'm good. And yes, Adam, I know this is really weird for all of you. It's, <laughs> you if you think it's weird for you, you have no idea. Like, <laughs> why do you think I was asking Joshua? I'm like, I'm going to shoot this son of a bitch. And then I'm like, that's not what my character would do. I'm in character. Well done, Mike. So I'm done, Josh. I don't have anything to do right now. Oh, I notice this very attractive woman come out the from the corner. Bring her in, Josh. Bring her in. I just noticed her coming. <laughs> yeah, she's up by the dwarf. I thought she was the dwarf. I am not the dwarf. Oh, you're good. Ah. Hold on a second. Jules, pull up a chair over here. It's probably easier. 
update. Jules is not a dwarf. It'd be so much funnier if you were. All right, who's up? Hold on a second. I'm bringing Jules in. Oh, cool. I didn't know I existed. You do now. Huh? All right, I got another way to write you in. You're welcome, Jules. Thanks for coming home. Mikey wanted me to write you in. I'm writing you in. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm not ready. So I, we, none of us are ever ready. <laughs> welcome to game night with the mutants. <laughs> I don't even have a chair. <laughs> now you have a chair. Now I have a chair. Here we go. I just want you to thing. Do you know this? A I A L I S. Hey. I want to know, Adam, how long until somebody wants to shoot my character? Oh, we're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have your piece of paper. You're going to look funny. Whatever. I forgot my dice. Boys. So, what was the last thing you said there, Mikey, while we're waiting for uh, Jules to pop in? So the last thing was um, I communicate to Ghost uh, to and if you know if he feels like he wants to do it he can run over the yellow guy next to him um, because if I don't let him kill something every once in a while he gets really cranky um, <laughs> and so I'm gonna let him kill that guy and then I'm gonna have him drive over to us so we have a getaway vehicle now I'm cowering in the corner. Um, Trigger notices a a a, a young Lashanta. Why am I cowering? That's not cool. That's lame. Because you weren't prepared to be involved game. in the firefight. Well, I was busy. And to be fair, three quarters of us are cowering as well. Oh, okay. They're, Sorry. They're, <laughs> tactical, <laughs> tactical defensive position. Jules, you see, you see, you, 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 you see these guys right here. Uh -huh. They're all hiding behind cover, oh. waiting to see what happens. You having to come What's off. What's happening? Oh, you could ask me. Telepathically, you can have the conversation with him. Because oh, he's like a little the too. I mean, out of game. What is out of game. game. They <laughs> disembark from their ship. Okay. There is a combat going on between the guys in blue and the guys in yellow. They appear to be rival, rival gangs from Absalon Station. Where you and they die. are very bad shots because they hit me. <laughs> the Vesk is not happy they hit him. <clears throat> I don't know how you're restraining yourself at this point. It's not his fight. He doesn't care. He got shot. He's been shot before. Yeah, I was gonna say, you think that's the first time he's been shot? <laughs> <laughs> he's been shot harder. Feel like this is the first time I've been shot before breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> For your hit, plus your bonus, whatever. That I, may I may not kill anybody, but the day ain't over yet. <laughs> Come on, Curly. Six. Plus your hit bonus. Does matter. Yes, you can still be Bob's eight. Where is it? It's under a net bonus. It's under the net bonus. I remember the box is on the right and the top for the top. Oh. One. So that'd be seven. Yep. Okay, so you are last. I will fix your character sheet tomorrow. Or tonight, if I have time. Mm. I, I don't have the way, the way it's set up in, this, in the system. Like, your name doesn't appear right now. Oh. It just shows your picture because I have to tie it in. Mikey doesn't even have a picture. <laughs> I'm just a blue circle and... You're just a guy. You're a silhouette. Just, yeah, I'm just a silhouette. I'm Trigger basically yourself. the guy that everybody wants to take shots at. See Trigger, hit the that's what I was thinking, Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now a trig Trigger went. It is now the uh, yellow guy's turn, which... which uh, we, We're rolling our D6s. Which, which now has identified as the downside kings. Everybody roll me a D6. Three. Two. 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 Back to that screen. Yeah. It, everybody rolled a two. It, okay, I have to say the guy in front of three. the guy in front of um, Ghost attacks him. Does he see him? He takes out his big stick. Does he see him? Sticky club. Yeah. Right. He saw the he, and rolls a four. So Ghost laughs at him as he dodges the blow. Ha 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 ha! balance. <laughs> this is your Benny. So it's a plus one to any single roll or a reroll. You get that keep the higher of the two. Uh, excuse me. Henry. Hold up. Come here. Um, Ozzy, you are up. Oh, you have water. The cat is drinking the dog's water. 
Oh, and then she's get mad at him. And then she get mad at him when he goes over to drink his water. And you're getting mad at the dog. No, I'm not mad at him. No, it's just that's what cats do. They're just dumb. Cats are cats. Cats are cats. Yeah, they're just cat rules the roost. All wars. <clears throat> All right, Ozzy. Especially if it's moving. Oh wait, as a free action, I turn to Ozzy and I'm like, "Hey, can we get off this crazy train?" <laughs> Saving that one, weren't you? I heard my phone in the car. <clears throat> <laughs> Jules is like, what said, does that mean? <laughs> Come on, do it. Crazy. <laughs> That's how it goes. Uh, Ozymandias is looking to uh, further uh, defend his position, pull over whatever recovery he can. Look out for him. Man, just use the cannon. He's, this isn't his first fight. He knows that this has nothing to do with him, and he's not going to get involved. Sorry. <laughs> He chose poorly. Uh, it takes total I'm, defense. This is actually the adventure. I'm actually playing the event. We have played for an hour and a half. I'm finally getting to the adventure. Yeah. <laughs> and when the adventure like applies to my character, he will participate. But for right now, he's going to take total defense, adding another plus four to his AC on top of his total cover on top of his prone. Yeah. He's invisible. Ghost. He's in the he's in the ground. You have made me drive mad. I am driving mad. He tries to start the vehicle. Does it start? All right. That is a total action. I would call that an engineering check. Okay. DC 10. Are you piloting? Is it like, how did it, it's a key or you just press on the gas? Engineering check. Hard. Some things can just happen. They, they can, but at the same time, no, there's, there's, you, you turn on and you go enable a couple things. He's I have watched a sci-fi movie and just flip all the switches. <laughs> She's on board. Just go away. Ghost easily easily begins uh, activates the machine, and it can drive it. It has a uh, a range of Jesus Christ, drive a port, baby. Fifty squares are a. a, a Ten squares a turn. Assuming he's slower than it. Ghost is. Yeah, I was just say we're better off running. Yeah, but it is a larger, heavier object that does a lot more damage when you when things run into it than Ghost. So he's going to uh, back up two, and then use two to hit the guy in yellow, and then he's going to use the remaining six to drive towards uh, everyone else. Hold on a second. I'm trying to find a cool, appropriate token for your space car. This will do. It's good that we'll take it because I'm on the wrong way. Go there. Go on the right layer. It's hard to do the right layer all the time. So, okay. What is total cover? Come on. What the heck? Fire. Oh, there it is. All right. My space hot rod. That's it, guys. This is my new sidekick. This car is coming with me for the entire adventure. There's your space sidekick. You back over over the guy. Give me uh, 2d10. Okay. Oh. He gets an opposed dex check for half damage. I can't even be He rolled a 5. Cover. I rolled a 12. Oh, opposed dex check? I, no, I, I rolled a dex check to get out of the way. I rolled a 5. Okay. Um, oh. You rolled a 12. My AC is 8. Plus you flattened him. There is blood and gore everywhere. Plus 18. All over your tires. Hey, Trigger. Hey, Trigger. <coughs> hey, Trigger. Hey, Trigger. Yes, 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 yes. What? What's up, Ghost? What? What? what are you, what's going on? What? This is crazy. Guess what? But that's what? how it goes. I killed him. Yes. Good. Now come get us. Okay, I come. <laughs> All right, so you can you had I said it was fifty feet. You used ten to, to crush that guy. Yep. So you should be able to see. I'm holding on the screen. You don't see it on your screen. No, 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 I saw. We saw it. It flashed. It flashed. Yep. Yep. Right it is. You got about thirty-five feet or so. Don't run over the barrels. I feel like this is that car from Austin Powers is like get out of the way. Get out of the way. <laughs> move, move. He's on the on the steamroller. He's going to drop prone in the car. Is that where you want to go? Yeah, perfect. <clears throat> no! There you go, now he's driving it. I 
me mouse in a car. What? <laughs> the mouse is driving the mouse. You, like you haven't seen this before. Have you never read the mouse on the motorcycle? Oh, and this this guy is Ralph S. Mouse. Done. Can he his feet hit the uh Reese the pedals? Yes, but he can't see at the same time. <laughs> That's what I'm picturing. <laughs> Ghost. All right. Um, you are up. Oh. Do you join the the rest of the group over on the left, taking cover? That would be. Come on over here. It'd be fifty feet. What is your movement? I think it's probably 30. Like thirty. She could run. Yeah, you could. Yeah, run. And you could take a double move. I will put you. I will. We will reenter your sheet in the PDF. That sheet is hard to read. Oh, 30 feet. Yes, thirty. Feet. But you can double move. Where is the wall? What, Bob? Are those barrels by the car? Because that's thirty feet away. Uh, you, you, you could move to here to get cover. Uh, you, so that, you could hop on the car. Yeah, I want to get in the car. All right. Um, give me a dex check. Is that D twenty? Yes, she could. Oh, run as a full action. You move up to four, four. times your speed in a straight line. Plus your dexterity bonus. Can't cross difficult terrain. Twelve. Oh, that's just ridiculous. Twelve. That. Sixteen. Your oh, no, you, you have a bonus 16, for dexterity. Your dexterity score. Oh, your modifier. Oh, plus one. So that's why you can easily do thirty-six. Oh, easily. Well, he Average stopped there, so I'm going to give it to you. Like okay. Like if you're all right. Within, if you're within, um, if you're within. hey, go. Somebody just chopped the car with the yards. Hey, hey, no hitchhiker. No space. No space <laughs> for you. What are you doing? <laughs> you want to say French fry? Hey, get yeah. out of my car. This is my car, not your yes. car. My car. Hey, Can I say There's shut up and drive? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you can say what you want. <laughs> that's not to be I say shut up and drive. <laughs> but you know, without all the giggles, so it sounds more badass. <laughs> so, Thank you. You can stay. Try to form that guy. Run that guy over. <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> what's your name? I am Lisi. I thought it was Alicia. Le- Lisi hops in the car with <laughs> with uh, Ghost. Ghost. We are back at the top of the Ornala. Nala peeks around the corner, uses her binoculars to look at uh, Chris Von Creel. Dres Von Creel. You can make it to there. It's full cover inside there. If you want to get halfway, if you want to have to have the distance. I'm just going to peek around the corner and look at <laughs> Give me a perception check from like a mile away. Through the binoculars. You have binoculars? Yeah. It's that's on one of the things I had. It was on my sheet, yes. Because that's like 85 feet away. I love that. <laughs> you just want to play with the arrows. One. Mm-hmm. So four plus a two for binoculars. Five. So you Six. pull the binoculars out and drop them. <laughs> and you pick them up and you're looking at the wrong end. <laughs> George Bush the binoculars. <laughs> was it Bush or was it Dukakis? One of them had them on like backwards. And then you realize that when you weren't paying attention, Trigger put the black ink around both things. So you put it on, you had a black ink all around. Your... <laughs> nice. You don't see anything of note. Yeah, it still looks dead. All right, everybody give me a D6 again. Four. Three. All right, I rolled a one, but if we have total cover, we're not supposed to be able to even be targetable. Three. A grenade comes over the side of the wall. <laughs> Five. <laughs> I pick up the grenade and throw it back. <laughs> All right. Um, the guy in the bottom left here that uh, is kind of, you guys have been kind of ignoring. I like him. He throws a grenade that lands right here. Hey, I'm not there. The other three. Target the other guys. Ooh, a natural 20. A 12 plus 4 minus 2 is still a hit. That's the same guy who shot me in the first place, isn't it? Yeah. So the guy... <laughs> Watch just run better. over one of the other bad guys, and then he throws the grenade at us. No, no, no. He threw a grenade that landed near us. He didn't necessarily throw it at us. Oh, okay. But it, it is going to dislodge you if you do not do something about about it or moving. 
Okay. So with so, this, I, so, so I'm trying to use this as a function to move you versus damage you. I don't. So, I know you want to pick it up and throw it back, but I would prefer you do something else. To, so Ozymandias, with his astute tactical knowledge of, of battle, yells, "Grenade! Everybody out!" <laughs> He oh, I thought he would have done something cooler. Like I'm going to throw myself on it. I was waiting for the. I was waiting for Captain America here. <laughs> <clears throat> in, in, the, the in the very original, when he before he became Captain America, they throw the grenade out there, and he jumps. Everybody runs away. He jumps on it. He oh, jumps yeah. on it in the original. Yeah. In, in get Fort, away! Get away! In Fort Myers, maybe it was Myers. I don't know. All right, it is trigger uh, turn. See, now that I was able to see that because I was taking total defense and looking around and being aware of so my surroundings. So you just yelled, you didn't move? It's not my turn. On my turn, I will move. Trust me. Trigger, you are up. Trigger runs for the car. The car already has somebody in it. <laughs> I, thought it like four, I thought it was like four or five long, though. We could jump on top. Or... Yeah, but, you know, like I'm a small creature, right? You know, medium creature. You're on the small side of me. Couldn't two yeah. people occupy the same square? Couldn't two, two of us little Yoshis what occupy your, the same square? You can cover 45 feet? Can you cover 45 feet? Uh, my normal pace is 30, so I don't know what it is with a run. Okay, a run allows you to... I just looked this up, too. Yeah, four times speed in a straight line. No, no, no... Um, uh, Takes care, that's your action and move. And, and you're swift. Okay, so it's everything. Yeah, it's a total total action. Give me a DC a, a DC five dex check to get in the vehicle, and a hundred and twenty acrobatics or acrobatics. So dex fourteen. Uh, you hop in there on top, on top of Lisa. Lisa, Lisa, on top of Lisa. Lisa is of course like. A giant rat creature, a, rat, a giant rat man, a three foot tall rat man just jumped on top of you. I don't know. Trigger, I do not know her, but she is cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ghost, I'll take your word for it. I saw her come out, so I'm glad she was able to. I saw her cowering in the corner, so I'm glad she was able to uh, to, to, to get to the car. To, to, so let's keep her alive. She looks like Nala. I like that plan. Uh, did you notice they threw a grenade at you? Yeah, we're going to go run him over. Oh. Not if I don't <laughs> whip his face first. All right, uh, trigger Ozzy, Ozzy. Ozzy, um, seeing the grenade, jumps up and leaps over the barrels. And, what, what do you say? Oh, Parkour. Oh, <laughs> sorry, it has been a few months since I had heard that. Um, what he wants to do is get... Uh, you know, he was able to discern from the trajectory of the grenade coming in, which idiot dumped a grenade in his lap. The idiot closest to you. Conveniently. And wants to go lash him with his tack lash. So your tack lash is a range of two squares? Two squares. So this would actually work right here. Yeah, I'll move, I'll, I'll move there, as long as you'll allow me. Yeah, I'm, I'm having fun tonight. We're the rule of cooling this? Yes, we're rule of cooling this. So he, he, he leaps actually, over the... You can be on top of this crate if you want. I don't want to be that high up in the air. I want a little bit of cover. Was you probably get advantage on that attack. <laughs> so he takes the attack last that he had ready and whoops. Come on, baby. You rolled that back four times tonight and not had success with it yet. I, I think one ten. I think Pinky needs to come out. This is Pinky. the last chance. I'm telling you, Pinky. Gotta do what I gotta do. I can't I can't you can't just change your quarterbacks. You gotta be really, twelve or thirteen right now. Eighteen. Uh oh, wow. natural. Wow. Oh. Uh, plus five is whatever that comes out to. 23. 23. Thank you. 23. I guess Damage. I, uh, did I hit him? Y yes. One, two, four. <coughs> Three plus f uh, f uh, four. Sorry. <laughs> one, two, six. Did I hear a niner? Did I hear a niner? I should probably put my bonuses in there. I am so sorry. That's all right. Jules is going to give me a pretzel rod while she reads. Did you want one, too? No, you didn't. Jeff, did you want a pretzel rod? He does not. Did you eat the other one already? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. You're welcome on the one, Jules. Ah. No, these are stale. No, they're not no, bad. No, they're not. They're not stale at all. So, yeah, uh, four, seven. 
And I also just had a bunch of chocolates. <clears throat> oh, I should have tried to trip him or something. Oh, well, too late. I should have tried to disarm him. Dead. Uh, he is knocked unconscious because attack lash is a non-lethal weapon. But he can be out of the fight. As and and <laughs> Ozymandias is uh, reprimanding him as he whips him with the tack lash. You idiot! That's twice. You don't use a weapon. You don't know how to use. What's wrong with you? <clears throat> Never, ever, ever do that again. Whoops! 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 <laughs> That guy, Trigger, that guy's got some issues. That is, that is not good. <laughs> no, as long as, as, as long as those issues are on our side. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking, Mikey. <laughs> this guy shot him and threw a grenade at him when he was aiming at somebody else. Yes, the soldier's a little mad about that. <laughs> All right, uh, Ozzy went ghost. Oh, can I drop prone? Nah, I think I've probably used up my swift action. You want to drive car? I can go get somebody else. Sure, I can drive car. Okay, who do you want me to kill next? Um, who's left alive in the blue team? All of them. Oh, then kill them all. No, three, three at the top, left of the map, are still alive. Starboard, we got two left. Take them out. No? And for the yellow team, both both groups of each lost one. And the guys at the top, the top of the map for both are still around. Do we? Uh, police are coming. The law is coming. Should we leave? We we need to get out of here quickly. We definitely need to get out of here if the police I, are coming. Actually, guys, we're under attack. There are witnesses that will corroborate the fact that you were attacked first. It doesn't mean you want to stick yourself. around and be bothered. I don't think that that's our only issue. <laughs> With the police. Um, so uh, we need to get out of here. So, yes, ghost, ghost, whoever, 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 who, who can you get to faster? Okay. He's He's he stutters. jumps off the car uh, and he gets behind the barrel that is uh, diagonally top right. And then from there, he makes a trick attack. You. Make sure I got the right one here. No. Uh, yes, I shoot you up here. Yep, you aiming at the top right hand guy. Are you are you out of the car or in the car? Out of the car. I'm leaving uh, trigger. He hands over the wheel to trigger. Where are you going? Oops. Right to the left of like diagonally behind. You can, move. you can move yourself. You should be able to move yourself. Yep, sorry. There. <laughs> And he attempts a uh, trick attack, which is something his class can do, using a little bit of stealth. Uh, he uh, tries to distract the guy in the top right corner. Uh, if the guy's CR is 14 or less... It is um, way less. Okay, then that is a success. That means that guy is now flat-footed, but only two attacks by Ghost for this turn. So now he will, as part of that same move, there's an attack... He tries to attack with the laser pistol. All right. And the laser pistol uh, rolls an 18. Okay. But his armor class is minus two because he's flat-footed right now. He, his, his armor class, is is it an EAC or a KAC? EAC. It's a laser pistol, so it'll go against energy. EAC of 10 is, it, is no match to your roll. And that does three damage plus one trick attack damage for a total of four. You were targeting this, you were targeting this guy? Yep, confirmed. So his armor is as effective as a stormtrooper's armor. Mm -hmm. How much damage? Drops prone, end of turn. How much damage did you do? Four. four. Don't you get like extra damage on a, on a sneak attack? I was the extra damage, buddy. It was, I rolled a three, and the extra damage was plus one. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Welcome back to level one. I was too busy telling you to kill them. Actually, you need to change the status. Bob, how do you change? How do you, you want to change the status of a guy? Uh, right click on the icon. Yep. Then you will get like a, a pop up. And then if you want to click on the circle in the bottom right hand corner, you get all these icons and colors. Ah, there she is. 
so many fantastic colors. It's so small, but yes, you can see he's dead now. He's got an X in his corner. Dead, dead. All right, um, Lisey, is up. Yeah, Lisey still has no idea what's happening, and she's just going to chill in the car. Lisey is in the car. She has the option to get off the car, no, ride I'm not the car, that. or target anybody who's been attacking them, which is both groups. You were originally here to meet um, this guy. Okay. He has been shot and is down and believed dead. Okay. And we're still down there? You were still down there on the car. Okay. You could probably make it there in a row. I don't want to leave the car. I like the car. It's nice and safe. You, you can get out of the car, take cover, and attack, or you could just hide in the car. Where's the car? Where's the car? Tell me what you want to do. Don't worry about the I... book. That, that, is the, that is the biggest trap we fall into. Tell me what you want to do. I don't give a shit about the book. You know what you have yet to do? The timer. We've all been pretty good. Yeah. I don't she, remember the, what the spells do. You can always use your magic missile. Because that is the given greatest spell of all mankind. She'll be out of range. Yeah, that was why I was checking. Magic missile out of range of 80 feet, if I'm correct. There you go. Treat that book gently. Don't treat it like Adam would. This is different from the other book. This one is nicer. Is that, it by two? No, that's mine. Oh, this one looks nicer than the one from yesterday. We didn't use Adams. It's the same book from that you're looking at. Yesterday. Yes, it is. Yeah, okay. It looks nicer. Uh, now I'll be ready. You are next. Ready? You should, you should, you should, you should do it. I was ready when it was uh, moving through the grenade. <laughs> <laughs> This is the second while Jules looks us up. She can't be forced to delay because she's the last one. <laughs> she she, 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 return from she wins the lottery. <laughs> I think if it comes to this in the future, when people are like, you know, have been ready and aren't trying to come into the middle of combat, yeah, if, you're, if not, you're not ready by the end of the round, you lose your turn for the I didn't round. want her to sit there for 25 minutes. I understand. I'm just saying, yeah. And we're also learning the system. Yeah. 100 feet. So you can, you can shoot pretty much anybody. Okay. So... Which one is causing the most issues? Well, the blue guys are the ones that threw the grenade. Oh. I don't like that. Jules, the two blue guys that are up to the left or the port side of the board, <laughs> as my character would say, they've both been dam <laughs> they've both been damaged. These guys, Mikey. Yeah, those ones up there, right? They almost yeah. pretty much everybody's been damaged at this point. Yeah. So anybody Jules shoots, what does the magic missile do, Jules? Um. 1d4 plus 1. Right, and is it automatic hit? Yes. Yeah. <coughs> Chances are good you're going to kill or bring somebody very close to death. And since I'm trying to move the combat along, the chances are very high you will kill somebody. Are they close enough that I can hit both of them? No. With your cone it thing? It says that they can be... No, I don't have the cone thing anymore. Okay. Um, How many magic missiles do you it get? It says the magic missile... You can target up to three creatures as long as they are less than 15 feet apart. You're the one that has better uh, uh, the only, cover. The only ones that were less than 15 feet apart, um, Bob just killed one. Okay, well, I don't want to do that then. It's Why? Do you, have to, do you have three magic missiles? No. As there's The target is up to three creatures. I don't have one. Yeah, but uh, does, does the spell shoot three missiles? No, I don't think so. Two. It shoots two to start, and it probably increases your level up. No, just two. Okay, so you can shoot. So you, that means you're doing two D4 plus two to a creature. Chances are very good you will kill one. Hit the one that has a lot of cover. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do that. <clears throat> that would probably be then either... This guy, Oops. yeah, or this guy. Uh, we can't see. There's the, a guy up there. We can't see the. There's other. a guy right here that Adam has. That you guys have scrolled off, so we can't see. Sorry, this map is so fucking big. 
Whoa, easy. Easy there, killer. Sorry. All right, so now you got to... Oh, that guy's yellow. So we want to kill the blue guys because grenade. I don't know. You're going for that guy? Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Four. So that's five. Now it's the second one. Four. So that would be a total of... Four. Ten. Ten. Four plus four is ten. Obviously. Oh yeah. my god. Dude, we have to fix this. This is freaking ridiculous. It's your first night on call. You're already bitching? No, it's just this is not right. There's a problem here, clearly. I Especially think. since we're getting calls from sandboxes at 10 o'clock. Crowley Dev. <laughs> Remember, I see why Dan paused everything last night. Yeah. You obliterate that guy. Well, yeah, I hope so. That's better. I like the red X better. That's much clearer to see. He's good. All right. Um, Nala. Nala. Well, I think I might do one of my magic. I'm just kidding. I'm going to hop over this thing and run towards the, uh, the donut. Nala leaps this. Parkours into here. Takes if full. I have, that's your. That's your. That's, I that's, would assume that's everything because no, that's, that's your move. Than, I'll give you a move on that one. Then I'll fire at the uh, guy at the top. The blue guy. The blue. Yeah. With with my azimuth laser pistol. Pew pew. pew. Oh, no, just pew. Double tap. Pew. You heard pew. <laughs> pew. One. It's like the seventeenth <laughs> one I rolled today. So I, three. Because they get plus two for range. Yeah, one still misses no matter what. <laughs> that was pretty cool. cool. No, no, no. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't spend enough time on looking. I like how Bob came off mute to say that. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you roll? He rolled a one. <laughs> Give me a D4. Your your pistol has some sort of malfunction, results in you taking two burn damage in your hand. The battery pack leaks out some some something some acid. Are you are you acid resistant? Results in some some pain. Two stamina points damage. <clears throat> wow, I'm being mean now. All right, so there are two blue guys left. Everyone roll a d4, please. No, I'm sorry, D6. Thank you. I, I, I heard what you meant. Thank you. Also, two. Three. <clears throat> Mikey? Mikey? I think he said one, maybe. He's on mute. D6. Yeah, Trigger, you're, you're on mute. What'd you roll? I know, I'm trying to click on the damn thing and it wouldn't let me. Sorry. One. <laughs> oh, you got targeted, dude. Yep. Pew, pew. I rolled two sixes, so I don't think a six is going to quite damage you. Peppy, Peppy, La Pew, La Pew, La Pew. But it, it, the, <laughs> you're, you're driving now. The, the laser blast comes in. It's just below the da the, 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 the dashboard. It's not really a, a windshield, but hits right in front of you and kind of explodes, sparks in your face. Clearly pissing you off. <clears throat> yes. All I right. slam on the accelerator. And as you conveniently, you are driving, and it's your turn, Trigger. Awesome. I think I gave this thing a range of 50. All right. Where's 50? All right. So, your little arrow around. No, no, I'm going to teach you. On, on your roll 20. Yep. In the top left, you have the arrow. Yeah. Then you go down one, you have the paintbrush. You go yep. down to the magnifying glass, and you go down one more. That one, click that one. Yep. That is your ruler. So now you can you can click on the thing and just drag to wherever you want. You want to so snap, snap to center or snap to corner? Just, just click. Don't worry about those. Just click on the actual. There you go. That you? That you? Nope. One of that, Adam. On yeah. the red. Okay, so that's sixty now. Yeah. Oh God! <laughs> to keep track of both of you. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing donuts, Josh. I'm doing donuts. You have a range of 50. Okay. 
Look at that. I can run this guy over. Except you have to drive to the, through the boxes. That would that would be a problem. And we took him out anyways. What's oh, the guy? Oh, he's dead. Further to you. There you go. 70. That's not 50. That's not 50. Maybe with a good driving check, he can increase his speed. What's the guy all the way on the right? What's the guy all the way on the right? The yellow guy. Yeah, but I have to drive through boxes again. You're a skilled oh. pilot, aren't you? I am a skilled pilot. Pilot could do an ace pilot, even. I happen to be an ace pilot. What a coincidence! I, I will treat your drive as your move, so you you can move your up to fifty and then act. Okay. So you you can drive fifty and shoot. Yep. You can drive fifty and, and leap off at the guy if you have that kind of range. All right, I'm going to drive to here, 50. All right. But I can't move it, right? Uh, you, I can move you, but I don't think you can move the car. Yeah, I can't move the car. Okay. And <coughs> Lisi is along for the ride? Lisi, Lisi yeah. comes with me. So it's not it's not Alicia like you said. It's Lisi, Lisi no A. What is it? It's the whole, the whole thing. I, Alisi. I Alisi, but I keep shorting it. The same way I keep uh, shorting Adams to Ozzy. Okay. I Ozymandias. Ozymandias. All right, Jules, you'll have to spell that for us sometime because yeah. that'll be interesting. Um, okay, so I'm gonna uh, basically I'm gonna floor it, right? I feel like you're like off, and I come cruising up there. I slam on the brakes. I spin the car sideways. I stick my pistol out the window. And I fire at the guy behind the box right there. Give me the sound effect. Pew, 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 pew. La, Pepe Le Pew, pew. Pepe Le Pew, pew, pew. Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> when you fire, do you turn the gun sideways to look really cool, or do you keep it straight up? <laughs> no, 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 no. That's how ghetto rats do it. We're not ghetto rats. Sideways, you get minus one. It's a drive-by right now. I'm just saying. No, no, it is kind of a drive-by, but we are, we are upper-class rats. So. If, you, if you held it sideways, I think so. I, 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 I uh, got yeah. some nice Jesus. Pistol? All right, I gotta find my shoe sting, my laser pistol. Let the shoe sting begin. Shoes the back. <laughs> Natural twenty. Nice. So roll your damage. Add your I, bonuses. Yeah. So oh, this I is cool. So this. The laser pistol on a critical also does a burn of 1d4. Ooh, you're going to burn, baby. Burn, baby, burn. Burn. So oh, I guess it's, no. it's, it's 1d4 and additional 1d4 burn damage. Is that the, That's the way I read it, right? Yeah. Okay. That's right. I forgot. All right. That. Let's have a different So thing. trigger, sliding, slamming on the brakes on the car, spins it sideways, Sticks the pistol out in front of Aisha, Leisha, Weisha, and he fires, hitting the guy dead center in the face for four, five, six. So, wait, so let me, sorry. There. Four points of regular damage, two points of burn, I guess, damage. So, six oh. total points. I don't know if burn makes a difference. Uh, it may or it may not. Does he get bonus for his dex on damage too? No, no. Okay, I see. I see. He's hurt, but he is not down. Ozzy is up. Trigger is pissed. Wait, is the guy who no. might be not, not dead? Correct. All right, Josh, I'm going to walk the dog. I'll be right back. That's fine. Jules will finish him. Uh, well, it's Ozzy's turn, right? Yes. Yeah. So Ozzy will drop his tack lash. Pull out his uh, his uh, azimuth artillery laser. La laser. Is it a high powered laser? Oh, it's 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 a one d ten powered laser. Oh, is this cannon? It's yeah. It's, this is uh, this is a big bad mamma jamma. This is a heavy weapon. And you are targeting. Right oh, can, can you move the map? Because there's a guy here you're not seeing, and there's this guy. Could you use a smaller map next time? Could you just center it better next time? I move, did, actually. Move that over there. Oh, look at that. You can see the whole map at once now. So this guy's not dead, and this guy's not dead. Go for that guy. There are two blue guys that are okay, and two yellow guys that are okay. Can I get to, like, here? I'll show you. Nope. Just measure. I'm going to do that. But I don't, I don't know, like, what's in the way. 
I'm ignoring dur terrain for the combat for the duration of this combat. All right. So that I think if he moves here, I'll have a clearer shot. Sure. So. Okay. Move yourself. And then he will fire on that guy. All right. And then I click on that nobody else can see. Yes. So he's going to fire on. The sound effect for that is. Uh, that was a sound effect for that. That was a good sound effect. Excuse me. 18. I think that's a safe bet to say that's going to hit. All right. And the damage on that will be. One. Can I use a Benny to increase my damage in any way, shape, or form? No. It's a real nice shot to the hand. <laughs> Actually, it's most likely your place to get shot at in a gunfight. You could reroll the hit with a Benny, and then I'll let you reroll the damage. Can I just take the one? To, can I take a plus one to hit and reroll the damage? I got no. enough of it. I was going to blow him. I'm going to miss this time. There you got it. Yeah. Uh, seven plus three is ten. Uh, EAC is 10. Oh, okay. Two. Sixer. Sixer. No bonus? It's a range attack. No next bonus? No, no, oh, no, there is no range bonus attack. on range attack. Yeah. Uh, Which one is this one? Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> you're doing all right. Keep it up. I like I, I'll keep you. No, Ozzie, you're Ozzie's, my guy until you're until you that. Ah, do you want to see what happens? Or say what happens? Better. You say what happens because I don't know how. how what you you, you kill him. Do you want to oh, tell okay. him? Oh, <coughs> so the, the entire um, docking bay uh, vibrates with a woof. Oh, sorry, I was supposed to be deeper. Woof. Deeper. Woof. I can only go so low. <laughs> woof. Okay. Getting the, getting the attention of everybody. Uh, and there is now a hole in this guy's chest uh, about the size of a Volkswagen. And you neglected, though, to, to mention that he also now resides back here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> that was my uh, azimuth artillery laser. Most of him. <laughs> and that is... All right, Ghost is up. Mikey, uh, the Bob, oh, you are muted. Oh. Oh, and uh, uh, just a note, guys. I was just taking a quick look. When you crit somebody and they get the burn, uh, that's not a one-time thing. You get the burning condition, and you get that damage every round until uh, the bad guy or whoever rolls a save and saves it and then drops the condition. Good to know. He's burning. That makes these azimuth uh, weapons a little more powerful when they crit. That's better than the 1d4 hand pistol alone. Yeah, I agree. Uh, okay. So from his vantage point, he's got a good bead on uh, maybe number two yellow on the right-hand side. Uh, starboard side, I guess. So he's gonna go with another trick attack. This guy? Correct. Oh. Take aim and fire on that guy. So try and get him to give up, but too late. So, as written, if you engage both groups, it's a CR4 encounter, which should be a wreckage. You guys should be wrecked on. But they're not fighting you. They're, yeah, they're <laughs> fighting each other. Uh, so, to see if the trick attack works, uh, they would have to have a CR equal to three or less. They have a CR of one half. Okay, so the trick attack is successful, which means uh, flat-footed for them. Uh, and then the fire with the pistol. The pistol rolls a 17 against that target, who currently now has a minus 2 AC. But they've got partial cover, which gives them uh, positive to their AC as well. Right, they still only have a 10, though. Oh, okay. 10 plus 2 is 12. So your 17 is a hit. 5 damage, burning. I mean, uh, fire damage, not burning. Takes a, a, a shot to the... Oh, Heart. it grazes his head. Oh. Because he, stick, he sticks his head up and you have to <laughs> time it just right. I thought it was going to be a shot to the heart. And he's to blame. Sorry. Right. I, 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 I at least you're on deck. You can't close up this tab. This is school stuff I already did. Doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, this is my school brush, yeah, but it's okay. by the way, so... What are you saying, Bob? Don't do anything stupid. Uh, he drops prone. Should I now have deleted that uh, that that uh, uh, Google Doc you had? I Alisa. Honestly, never gonna. I Alisi. Yes. You were in the car. What are you doing? 
This, uh, uh, you can't see. Um, this guy is on fire. He is burning, courtesy of cool. Ozzy sh uh, of, of trigger shots. This guy up here that is undamaged. This guy I is hurt pretty bad from um, ghost shot. <clears throat> this guy has a hole in his chest from, and this guy's already dead. This guy's not dead yet? Oh, oh he has a hole dead. in his chest. He's pretty dead. Okay. Size of a Volkswagen. He's mostly dead. <laughs> Most of him is dead. The other half of him is missing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll tell you about two minutes. We'll find the rest of it. You know, yeah. that, that one finger is still there. Could be. Peter <laughs> Pettigrew's here. I was if he was a troll, he could regenerate. <laughs> okay, can I shoot that guy? The one who's uninjured? Yeah. So you're, you're spreading out the fire as much as possible. Yep. Okay, that is typically something we, we, we as a group try to shy away from. Oh, but I like that. That is something we as a group typically do, even though we shouldn't. We're not a group yet. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That he has got we don't even know who she is. I'm going to shoot her. So somebody just came up and jumped on this car that that uh, Trigger Trigger is driving. She come off the ship with you. You just didn't, reckon, you didn't meet her on the ship, and she's she she she's is there. She's not part of the level twenty one or upside down gang. Yeah, she shot. She's shooting the bad downside guys. Downside kings. She's good with me. Upside down gang is so much better. Than <laughs> They're on the downside of the arms, but anyway, you can use your magic missile again because you have two of those a day, boys. or you can use your as your azimuth I laser. Use my azimuth laser pistol. Pachoo, pachoo, pachoo. Dude, that is such a lousy sound effect. That is seventy-five feet. Is within the eighty-foot range of the pistol. Yeah, In case you're wondering, you know, yay, yay, measurement tool. Azimuth artillery laser, range one hundred and twenty. That's a phenomenal range. You can go up to like four times the range of your pistol or weapon. And you just take penalties. D20. That's right. 11. Plus your dex modifier. 12. He has cover of minus two. So he has EAC of 10. So that is a hit. So it is 1d4 plus one damage. This one plus what? Seven. Plus one. Four. She's not a lot of fun with this. Why plus one? Isn't that what the, the, the azimuth laser pistol is? I thought it was just a D4. Am I wrong? It's a, I don't it's a 1D4 for the pistol. Yeah. Then it's just... It's just four. Yeah. I rolled a four. That's interesting because here on, on my sheet, it's an azimuth laser pistol, 1D4 plus one on my sheet. Okay, let's go with that one. We'll take the plus one. I mean, yeah. honestly, the, the concept of pew pew is literally like these things are like poo -poo. bad guys. They get more. Small. I mean, a dagger does more like the same damage. Laser pistol is one d four fire damage. Critical is a burn one d four. Yeah. Did we all? Did we all take literally the same laser pistol? Everybody takes the same same thing at level one. Okay. I was instructed by Are they, take the is this because they're holding it sideways? Or it could be because they have uh, weapon proficiency, tactics, whatever. Oh, yeah. There's some feat that gives you a plus one to, to damage. Interesting. All right. But that's also minus two to hit. Uh, weapon focus, I think, gives you a plus one. But maybe that's just a hit. Or it could just be that because they're bad guys, they play by different rules. That's fair. Yeah. All right. Um... He is he is badly injured, and we are back at Nala. So at this point, there's north of me is hurt and on fire. Yep, and that he is last of the blue guys. Northeast of me is on his last leg. Yep, and east of me is on his last leg. And east northeast of you is on his last leg. Yes. Wait, hang on. Who have we got left? There's is this guy still alive that I'm pointing to? That's the one Jules just shot. Okay, and so he's on. He's hurting bad. And then there's this guy who's hurting bad. And then the on fire guy. Yes, here. That's yes. everybody. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> nah, nah, nah. I hop out of my little donut. I actually can't shoot this. So I'll let it fire. I'm gonna be able to move up. Yeah. You hop out of the donut. <laughs> I run to this corner. Henry, come here. Move it. Adam can move you. Trying to keep him awake? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how far are you moving? 30? This is uh, 30, 30 right there. Okay. 
So I forgot I had another roll to play here. And I will try to use my weapon against hoping it fires. <laughs> against that guy? It did backfire last time. Yep, against that guy. Uh, excuse me. Six, seven, eight. Eight. The weapon successfully fires. Unfortunately, it misses him and hits the uh, crate next to him. <coughs> and I duck down there. Yes. All right. His turn. Uh, he is not engaged in melee, so he can flee randomly and not take opportunity attacks. He races to here. Oops. Wrong button. Races to here, and then there, and gone. Uh, just a note, Josh. Before he runs, he's got to take that burn damage. Yes. Uh, so he could die right there? I rolled four. He does not die because... Because he's a bad guy. Because GM's proud of him. It really doesn't matter if he dies That's or fine. not. Yeah. There's, it's irrelevant if he dies or not. The, the combat ends when one, when one group is all entirely dead. I was ending, I was ending the combat regardless. Um, as soon as the combat ends, of course, the, the police show up, the well, authorities. Ozymandias will go and pick up the tack lash that he dropped. And, uh, right, go over. Enough time to loot, like, to see if you can pick up a couple of pistols from the bodies or credits. Um, that, as they start pouring in, um, give me a <laughs> stealth check. Yeah. yeah, I think I think I, we all try to do the same thing. I'm pretty pissed that stealth that guy didn't die. Give me go. Give me a stealth check. Stealth check. Okay. I rush over to drag of Veer Creel. Drag of Creel. He has a laser shot through the neck. Ooh. I rolled a stealth of twenty four. All right, and ghost. I did not take medicine. You each are able to get to one guy. Um, they each have a, an, uh, a, a pistol with 18 charges left in it. So you have an extra battery pack for, with 18 charges. And they each have a cred stick with 150 planning, credits on it. I was planning on um, playing the Mystic. Mystic. Who could just stabilize dying? It wouldn't matter. He has plot immunity to death. Oh, okay. He has plot requirement for death. Oh, that's different. Okay, thank you. Um, when you get there, uh, do you do anything specific or are you just sitting on a cart in shock? Just chilling on the car. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> um, do you know Andra Valkyl that he has his 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 pad his his his, his, <coughs> his device is right there. Try quarter unlocked. Look at it. You look at it. Um, you know that the uh, directions he has states that he is supposed to take you to meet with uh, Chiskik at the Lore Spire Complex. If More Lord Spire Complex? That is where the, yes. If you want to give me a culture check, we'll see if you've heard of this stuff <clears throat> before. Who? Chiskicks. He might be the... Uh, it's not a he. Culture? Yeah. It's 18. 18. You recognize Chiskicks as a Shireen name? Shireen? Shireen name. That's what I meant. I like Shireen. Uh... And uh, they, because it is not a male or female, it is a host. Oh, um, are they're not on the the, the council that that runs this the society, forum? The forum, but they are relatively high in, in the hierarchy. Uh, it looks like he, that uh, Dorval was supposed to take you to see them. The uh, police, in the meantime, sort through the carnage. Um, you overhear them. Uh, everybody, give me a perception check. I'll explain to them that we were not part of it. Hold on. Nineteen. Twenty-three. 15. Natural twenty. Perception check, gentlemen. Oh, uh, twelve. These aren't the rats you're looking for. Um, they 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 separate you. They take your statements about what happened. Um, you were all able to ascertain that it uh, was that. Uh, Nala was correct that it was the level 21 crew and the downside kings engaged in this. Um, oh, this one over here is unconscious, but should still be breathing. Uh, other witnesses corroborate your story that you were not involved in this other than defending yourself. So you were all released. You're not held in any manner. Oh, we're cognizant? Sure. I don't know. <laughs> I much better like the fact that it was the space crypts fighting the moon bloods. <laughs> I'm with you, Mikey. I'm going to pretend that that's what it was. I when I, when I tell this story later, because I will in my character, 
<laughs> That's who it'll be. I might have taken that uh, path with me to return. I see. Uh, I mean, it's already unlocked. So. I might download everything that's on there to my personal device. None of you were hurt, so the, the, the medics that do show up offer. Oh, they hurt. offer to provide assistance. Do I have to spend a resolve point? Mm, uh, they can offer, administer first aid to the PCs or treat deadly wounds, which you don't have. I don't know what first aid does. So. I don't either. But I can spend a resolve point to return probably at least those three stamina points. I forget exactly how that works. But All right. Let's see what first aid says in the index. Bob, do you have that on yours? Because I know you took, like, medical or something. 143. On your like how first aid works? I'm looking. <clears throat> As a standard of action, you can use medicine to stop bleed damage or administer first aid to a dying creature. You can touch... <laughs> If you succeed, the creature stops dying and becomes stable, or the bleed damage ends. Does not say anything about healing um, yes, stamina. Yeah. Stamina. All right. Um, so, uh, okay, I'm going to figure out how to do this resolve point thing while you move along. Let's go. Let's, you let's, spend the resolve point, and all of your stamina comes back, I believe. I don't think it's all of it, is it? I believe it is. Can you get my friends with They're stale. You don't want one. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what I missed that you really just can't get out here? Pizza. Pizza. A freaking donut. This one really? Is literally like... Yeah, you like nobody has good don't or any donut. There's like one donut place, and they're all like fancy, stupid ass donuts. Hey, uh, Mikey, I just realized uh, when you get a chance later, please email us your mailing address at the new place. Yeah, because we might actually send you a Christmas card, maybe sort of. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll. Uh, I yeah, I should do that. <laughs> you have an address. I do have an address. I have an actual real address. Right. Right. <laughs> exactly. Right. Oh, normal thing, but then he gets up, walks outside. It's actually a storage unit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I did a nice job decorating it here, didn't I? <laughs> it's actually just like a five foot square around the camera. Everything else is still like metal walls and everything. It's a box truck. So, uh, with ten minutes of uninter un uninterrupted rest, you can spend one resolve point to regain up to your total. Normal amount of stamina. Come here. Let's go. So, since we're early in the night, I'm going to spend my one result. I'm going to spend a resolve point, and I'm going to bring my stamina from back up from a five to an eight. Yeah, I don't know. Mine wasn't that tough. Actually, no. How's Monday? Are you okay? I will be fine, thank you. Hey, you in the car? Who jumps in a car? You are crazy. Who are you? Lisey? Are you going to go with Lisey now? Yeah. Whatever. Where are you from? <sighs> That's a good question. Castrovel. It's the home of the village. Oh, you, you, no, I thought you were going to be a student. You were a student here, returning. Sure. You're playing a student? The Arca well, she, she was a student at the Arcanemium. You decided this for me this morning. Oh, okay. So where are you from originally? I'm from Kimura, oh, the sorry. Shallow Shards. Did you say you're from Gamora? No. I did not say that. <laughs> Kimura. I don't know. Let's make it up. You don't need to be from anywhere he's heard of. You could, there's a thousand planets you could be from. You could I have like been born on the station and returning now. Oh, I like that. <laughs> That's easy. <laughs> Are you injured, young one? Nope. Let me tell you something. You, you who jump in the car. You never get in car with strangers. That's how you get killed. <laughs> and trust me, I know I kill people. <laughs> Trigger, ghost. Let's go. I know where we must go. 
What'd you say? Alright, What? The little guy, he dead now. So who can you talk to? Ah, uh, I know uh, above him who we should go see. I don't see. Just wait the data pad. Did you, did you look? Did he have any items? Uh, you are a good friend, yes? So he give us stuff, his things. Thanks, Mikey. Uh, I have his data. No problem. His data recorder tells us where we should go next. Yes, 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 data recorder. Yes, yes. But what about credits? What about credit sticks? I did not look. I'm sorry. Very, very disappointed. Not mad, disappointed. <laughs> we are visiting the Starfinder still? Yes. I will come with you. Good. Convenient, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Young one, do you have any reason to visit the Starfinder? Yes. <laughs> Perhaps we should all travel together. Apparently, Absalom Station is not as safe as I was told. Uh, as how you would say a uh, party? <laughs> I don't see any booze here. <laughs> this station horrible. You walk off the station, they shoot at you. What the hell, bud? All right, so the little, uh, the little one makes sense. Le it's strange, I didn't think they could. At least he kind of knows a little bit about the the, the, the station having grown up there or ah. studying there. See, look at how convenient that is. Did the grenade ever go off? Yes, I meant to say it did go off. It went off, nobody was there, nobody got hurt. Grenade right. <laughs> <laughs> space station. Collateral damage, destroy seals. <laughs> make uh, make combat seals. more interesting. There were seals in there? Like, I didn't know there was any anywhere for them to swim. Whoa. So, uh, Khaleesi takes you through... I know. Khaleesi takes I'm you through so several... We'll call it Khaleesi from now on. Oh, sorry. Khaleesi takes you through uh, a bunch of locations, and you end up heading toward the Lower Spire Complex, this giant swirly building here in the center, off just slightly off to the left, is the, actually the Lower Spire building itself. <laughs> That's like the home of the uh, uh, Starfire Society. There's a lot of secrets in there. Secret, secret. I had to look hard to find that. To that Google doesn't find that. I was watching the video on Absalon Station, and they show the art out of a book they hadn't released yet. And it's like copied that out of a YouTube video. <laughs> nice. I just want to clarify. This is within the station, right? The station is the station. the station is like the size of a small planet. It's kind of like that star. I think in size. It's hard for me to, to judge, but... A weapon of last resort? Uh-uh. Just big. The last That's best awesome. hope for mankind. Awesome. <laughs> Alright. Um, so, I assume you're heading in? I'll just wait outside. Yes, I'm going in. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to give you one of these for snark? we all go in at a <laughs> different times with the Dove party? Yeah. Here's the thing. Here's what we should do. You go in first. We will wait three minutes, and then the Yosoki will go in. Three minutes later, I will come in. Three minutes later, mm -hmm. the young one will go in. And then Bayorn will not be upset that there are so many dwarves in his house all at once. Jeff has no idea what you're talking about. No. Seriously? What the hell? Jules has no idea. Bob, has, Bob knows. Mikey probably doesn't. Anywhere. Uh, you get to the Lower Spire Complex, the standard receptionist. Hey, I help you. I'm looking for Dragon Bell Creels. Uh, I have bad news about Dragon Ball Creel. What, what, what happens to Dragon Ball? He's been killed in a, uh, <gasps> a battle. Uh, he, was a great, he was a great dwarf. I feel so terrible. He must have been four feet tall. He was actually quite tall for a dwarf. That's what I mean. He was, he was a like great, four and a half. Feet he was tall. a great dwarf. <laughs> please, please have a seat in the waiting room. I will, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will get somebody to speak with you. And she shows you. Oh, there's a waiting room off to the side. There's some uh, refreshments in there. Is there a battery charging station? No. <laughs> you you, you shot my battery. One. Yeah, but I take two shots for that because it's such a big gun. I only get 10 shots out of my 20-charge battery. 
Whoa. Instead of just like a pew pew, pew it's like a pew. Well, you heard me go, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and you shot that guy and he went flying like 20 feet. It's, you were saying, Bobby Mikey? Uh, Ghost will enjoy the refreshments and also before he entered, he hid one of the pistols in his cheek pouch. <laughs> you can fit a pistol in your cheek pouch? Yeah, you, and you can fit, fit like 10 like, pistols. Like, like, uh, oh, easily you can fit it in there. That thing's what? big enough. It, it it one, uh, yeah, it's one ball. Foot it's of, a cubic ball. Uh, of stuff, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I believe it's one bulk, isn't it? Whatever a bulk is. Yeah. Whatever a bulk, one bulk, bulk is, like correct. A bulk is like 10 pounds. Yeah, Joel's a threat yesterday. Ah, okay. All right, uh, so you wait about uh, four or five minutes, and, and the receptionist comes back. Um, please please come this way. Um, this case, we'll, 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 we'll speak with you now. One cubic foot of items. One bulk. Okay, so one cubic foot of items up to one bulk. So wow. you couldn't put, like, you right. know... A neutron star particle in there. Well, uh, really. you could actually, in theory, hide a bag of holding in my cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't read all the items yet. I don't know if that exists. It does now. <laughs> it's the universe. Cheeks of holding, man. It is not. It is not Cheek, cheeks of holding. Uh, Pathfinder. Sure That's what she said. <laughs> <That's> just... <laughs> yeah. Cheeks of holding. How do you center it, Bob? Is it all to center it? Uh, you, when you click, it draws everybody's attention to it. So I think it's like... It used to be when you could feel the center it, I thought. But anyway, I'll have to reread the rules, the instructions. So if you go to the top left of the picture of the, of the screen, you'll see a picture of the chisk. <coughs> you look like a character I was going to play. Oh, I think shift control centers it. And while well, regular control just puts the circle, maybe that's what it is. There you go. It moved yeah, yeah. my screen. I moved it your screen. You moved it. That name looks like when I get mad and I just smash all the letters on my keyboard. All right. Oh. I turn to Ghost and I'm like, Ghost, do you, 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 you thought the big guy was funny looking. What is this? That is Shira, Trigger. Shira. Don't kill it. It looks it looks mean. I squash it. I squash it. No, 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 no. Yeah. No squashing. No squash? No. We we're trying to get we're trying to get jobs so we can get out of the trouble. Remember you're you're always getting us into trouble. <sighs> because you do not let me kill everyone. If I kill I, everyone, no one talk. I know that's that's the problem, but then there'd be no no one left to pay us. We'd have to We'd have to come up with our own. It's more fun to leave some alive so we can come back and 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 kill them later. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, 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 so since I don't have a good way to, to, to mimic this, imagine in your minds that there's a, a, a like when an insect, you know. I never built those for you. I never built those for me. So I am sorry that I cannot welcome you to Absalon Station under better circumstances. I assure you that such attacks are not a daily occurrence, so I realize it is likely small comfort to you. I am pleased that none of you are seriously hurt, but I grieve for Doraval's desk death. He was a valued member of the society and a friend. May the Lady of Graves be kind in her judgment of his soul. The Shireen bows their head momentarily, then looks up, their compound eyes glitter. How does the jazz make noise? What puzzles me is the reason behind the attack. Just taps a few commands into the computer. According to the incident report just released by Station Security, two gangs were involved in the attack, the Downside Kings and the Level 21 crew. Gang wars are not uncommon on the station, but they usually confine themselves to the more lawless sectors like the Puddles. It is rare for street gangs to battle openly in public areas like the docks. I cannot help but wonder whether all of this is as it seems. There must, there must be a reason why those two gangs were at Docking Bay 94 at that time, the time of your arrival, coincidentally. But what is coincidence? Were you and Dorval just innocent bystanders caught in the crossfire, or might you and he have been specifically targeted? And if so, why? My understanding is you are interested in becoming Starfinders, and since you are witnesses to the attack, I would like to ask you to investigate the incident on behalf of the society. Find out exactly what happened and why, it may simply be a matter of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I have no doubt 
station security rule it so, but if Duraval was murdered, I would like to find justice for my friend. At the same time, this will give you the opportunity to demonstrate your own skills and abilities and show the society that you are worthy of the title Starfinder. What's her title again? It, what is its title? What is their title? Uh, it's just a member of the Starfinder Society. High-ranking member. Uh, <clears throat> just I get it. over the uh, pad. This was... Oh, I, 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 I thank Reels. you for this. I will, I, will, I will look through it to see if there's any relevant information. But let you know if I have any. Uh, Chiskick, I do not wish to join the Starfinder Society. I am seeking information about the Hell Knights and how I may join them. Do you have any information about this? The Hell uh, we we are certainly aware of who the Hell Knights are. They fly in seven large citadel ships throughout the area, throughout the galaxy. Uh, I can look to see if there is one that is nearby, as a, in return for you helping us investigate this matter. And let you know where it is. That's a pretty steep price for. Such a lot of work I'll be doing for you. I Actually, expect I will, more than more than more compensation for such services. I, I can advance each of you two hundred credits to aid in your in, as a retainer fee to help aid in your in your in, in investigation and your research and cover any expenses. As the, well as I can arrange, I can suggest a couple of hotels that will give you a discounted rate as friends of the Starfinder Society. Are we talking like a bed and breakfast, or more like a Holiday Inn Express? <laughs> it is called the Moons of Sleep. <laughs> so a Holiday Inn Express did. <laughs> well, they have continental breakfast. It has both. It has, it has both efficiencies and sweets available. Oh, sweet! I am <laughs> a mini bar. I must know this. I am not aware of a mini bar. But there is within walking distance of here in many other locales. My deal is off. Anyway. I'll take the 200 credit. <laughs> 200 is the retainer. Anybody? I'm not wearing retainer for 200 credit. No. That was my awkward period. No. <laughs> Again. The offer is 200 credits to assist you in your investigation. Whatever you find as additional credits will be yours to keep. And if you are successful, we'll see what else we can do for you. Getting this good. is what I have to offer now. Trigger. Okay, trigger. Whatever we find, we keep. I kill somebody. I keep. I fight. Yes? <laughs> Drax. Drax and, Gr and, and, and Rocket. What if, he has a, what if he has something I really want more than he does? What if he really, really wanted? <laughs> What if I want it more than he does? Yeah. <laughs> we, 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 we don't, we don't go, we, we, we don't have to kill everybody to get their credits. Well, no, of course not, because some people do not have credits. Well, then, 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 then you can kill them. They're useless if they have no credits. Hey, waste of time. Oh, okay, Trika. Well, we can also. But, 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 but if we're, if we're, but, but, Ghost, if we have to do this, we, 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 we can't jeopardize our. Our our, our 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 possibility of of, get, of getting into this group. So let's not kill everybody just yet. Okay, okay, that makes sense. So we do this thing. Yes. Okay, bug person, we do this thing. <laughs> Very well. I'll arrange to have your. I'll <laughs> arrange to have the funds transferred to your your accounts. Um. You will need to provide some minor information in the way out so that we can do that. Do you not have cred sticks available? If you wish to operate in that manner, we are certainly capable of that. There are times it is necessary. I like to, to keep more cash. mobile, if you understand. Yeah. Very well. Tiny is right. I do not wish to subscribe to your mailing list. I give, I give my information. I'm on the do not call list. You guys do not call us. I am incognito mode. <laughs> you, yeah, you have you have a, 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 an address on the station. So they have a record of you as well. Um, just recommends the, the moons of sleep. It's just a short walk from the parks and towers of the eye. It's centrally located. Has both efficiencies and suites. 
Uh, it is 16 credits per week for efficiency or 50 credits per week for a small two-bed suite. Well, we could split the suite. It's still cheaper for the efficiency. Oh, yes. I didn't do the math. <laughs> 16 versus 50 for two. Oh, no, I said we all pile into the two-bedroom suite. You could do that. It's it's just like the barracks. Uh, even then, it might be still too expensive. You could. You really want to share a suite with two rats? <laughs> they may never be there. Giant lizard. Uh, I don't really want to share a suite with two people who are not Yusoki. No. You two might share efficiency. We can. We can. We can share the efficiency. It's sixteen credits. The two of us can fit in there without a problem. So we we can share that. So do try to keep track of your credits to some extent because at the end of this, you will have credits and you will be able to shop before the next phase. What? All right, so, so wait, it's okay. So we each just got 200 credits from this? You just got 200 credits from this and you each pulled 150 off the dead bodies. Right. Okay. And then I had a few left over and then we're going to pay 16 for the suite for the week. Is that? Correct. Okay. <clears throat> Slap your own hand. What? Slap your own hand. <laughs> you try tough. to do it like you would. <laughs> All right. So the next phase of this dives into the investigation. I don't know if we want to start that at this point. I mean, I, I'm assuming the first phase of this investigation kind of starts here, right, on the base? I mean... Yes, yeah, the, the, there's an investigative part that happens here, then there's another action part. I mean, we have to go out and eat. Like, you, you're like, you can shop now if you want to spend your credits now. You have time. You have a week, you have a week on the station. You've each, each got a minimum efficiency for 16 credits. Well, yeah, we, got we 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 should eat something because I'm hungry now. That fight took a lot out of me. So, all of us are going to take up this offer and run through this investigation for 200 credits. Actually, yes. that's quite a good rate. I was going to say, is that a no. Now we look at what we got to buy. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Well, well. I mean, it, it's a, it, it's a good it's a good start, right? I mean, we 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 could we could try to hold out for more, but we we got to start somewhere. And he said we get to keep everything extra. Well, since we will be working together, you give you all permission to call me Ozzy or Oz instead of having to use my full name of Ozzy Mandius. Oh no, we got names for you, big guy. We call you Tiny, Tiny, Tiny. tiny. <laughs> In the, in the Vesk culture, yeah, it, it is improper to call somebody by anything other than their full name unless given permission. And for the duration of our time together, I give you all permission. In the Yosoki culture, we call you whatever the hell we want. <laughs> <laughs> the, little, the bigger of the little one is intriguing. All right, so, oh, so you eat. He, he doesn't, he, speak, he talks a lot before he thinks. <laughs> Oh, oh, you think I think? <laughs> we, we can actually do some of the cursory ex investigation stuff now. Um, everybody take, gain 600 XP for the encounter on the docks. I don't understand. Wait, what's XP? We're, I don't even know if XP is listed on the sheet. I don't think yeah, it's not. It was 1,300 to level up. Okay, so we've got 600 so far is what you're saying? Yes, sir. All right, I'll just make a note of that on my additional notes page. Where is it? Yours is terrible to read. It's so tiny. Yeah. yeah mine's on the back in the middle column at the bottom. Because <coughs> I have a front and a back. Oh. So wait, what, what was next? What's level two? 1,300, 1,200? 1,300. 13. 13? And so far we've got 600. We're almost halfway there. So I got yes. 600 XP for setting in a car and shooting my pistol guns. You, you use a nice yeah. missile too. Do we have more XP than Jules because we had that first encounter that she wasn't there for? The thugs? Yeah. No, they weren't in the book. Damn it! <laughs> nice try, though. Do <laughs> so we get any experience for that? You've got an experience. An experience, not any experience. experience. <laughs> you had an experience. Maybe it was out of body. All right. So 
to recap for somebody who's making notes, maybe. Um, like Adam, who has the notebook. You were, you were given the task to investigate the death of Dorval Creel. Durval. So we need to fill out who killed the dwarf. Correct. And why. Correct. But don't we also have to figure out if we were the targets or part of this or Correct. As well? Correct. Okay. Um, the Downside Kings was one of the, the groups that was was there. And the and the Level twenty one. Bless you. The level twenty one crew was the other one. Or as I affectionately refer to them, the Star Crips and the Moonbloods. Those are a lot easier to remember. Now you can start with some culture checks and computer checks to see what you can find from the computer systems. I'm going to do some hacking. That's what I do. That will give you some basic information um, for any of those. Perhaps we should look for information on these Star Crips and Moonbloods. That it would be a good place to start. I will not respond to you when you do that. That's okay. You don't have to. I'm talking to Mike. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm, 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 I'm gonna hack the basis computers and, and and see what I can find, and maybe even even uh, uh, maybe the police too. Their computers. They they don't know what security is. <laughs> Culture is only something you can roll if you're trained in it. Correct. Yeah, I've trained in it. <clears throat> I've trained what, what computers. Trained in it. You have a little checkbox. I don't think you trained in that, did you? Checkbox. I'll, I'll do a I'll little research in into uh, okay. my culture in both uh, of them. Uh, you could use computers to do research. I'm going to do computers for I'm research like for hacking. In my in incognito. <laughs> Are you going out on the street dressed as a, as a Yosoki? Yes. Which else? I have questions. You, you, well, yeah, so you live there as well. Yes. Yeah, that group. You might know a little I have something. I computers and culture. Can I make a check for both? You, you can use, okay, so here's how it works. You can use culture to get the most basic information. Then you have to go out and talk to people. And that's where you use things like diplomacy. Um, in theory, you can intimidate somebody um, and so on and so forth. So my suggestion would be you take the culture roles right now to see the basics, if you can get that. And then you can go visit locations and talk to other people. I would want a specific role for each one. I will, I will, I will go with you and make sure you don't draw any unwanted attention like those men on the ship. Oh, thank you. I got 15 for culture. Investigating. I want to investigate specifically the, uh, where the 21s are from. Well, the 21s. Where are they from? Where, where, where within They're level, from level 21. Level 21 is a ginormous uh, area. Uh, level 20, the level 21 crew are a street gang that claims, unsurprisingly, level 21 of Absalon Station's CD Lower Decks Arts Territory. Their known criminal endeavors include theft, fencing, stolen goods, gambling, prostitution, racketeering, and smuggling. Usual. Yes. No, really, that is usual. Uh, Lola. Uh, Jules, did you want to make a culture check for the Downside Kings or for Durval Creel? I don't know if Creel has a culture check. I'll go for the Downside Kings. Okay. Uh, I rolled a 10. Okay. The do, I down add, do I add anything? If you have a bonus to your culture. culture check. As long as you're trained in culture. I do not have a bonus. Okay. So the Downside Kings are a brutal street gang that controls several decks of Absalon Station's lower levels or Downside. Through a combination of intimidation and violence, they are known to engage in a wide variety of illegal activities, from extortion, fraud, robbery, smuggling, and theft, to drug and arms trafficking, kidnapping, murder for hire, and trafficking in sentient species. So I think we covered all of the crimes right there. They're 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 really badgies. So, uh, oh, sorry. Trigger. I see a public station over there. Perhaps you could get some information out of it. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I can, I can, oh yeah, yeah, I can definitely, um, what, what do we, what do we, what else do we want to know? Do we want to know anything about the, the, the dwarf? Can I, I can, I can probably get to the main base computers. I can probably find out anything you want. Just give me like five minutes. I can get it all. I think that finding out about the dwarf and his activities would be quite wise. By the way, okay. is that a, a small human or is he a dwarf as in elf dwarf? Uh, 
probably dwarf is an elf dwarf. What are you talking about? The 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 other guy that got killed. Creel is an actual dwarf. He's an actual he's dwarf. The dwarf race. Yes. He, he's a humanoid with a dwarf subtype. They they, <laughs> they 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 talk about if you read the core rule book, it says, you know, these you, you can play these classic races, but they're rare. They're not rare because they're in all the adventures. Castrovel has a, uh, there's, there's, there's a, a huge there's, elven yeah. population there. Yeah. I mean, this is the same universe as um, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, but, you know, thousands Amazing. of years in the future, and we've lost all knowledge of the past. Yes. Josh, I rolled a 27 on my computer's check. All right. So you're able to hack, you're able to hack into the uh, Starfinder Society um, mainframe and receive some inform interesting information. Durval Creel was a mid-ranking member of the Starfinder Society. Most of his work focused on mineral prospecting. Hmm. But he also took an interest in mentoring new and prospective members of the society. I'll check that one off. What did I check with that one? All right. Uh, what did you roll, Mikey? Uh, uh, sorry, 28. I didn't add up my bonus uh, correctly. He was a native of the diaspora, which is the asteroid belt. Uh, the diffuse asteroid belt between Versys and Eox. and was known to have ties to dwarves and other mining groups in the region. An outspoken champion of miners' rights, Krill was active in challenging large corporate interests that exploited individual miners and laborers, including astral extractions. And Adam, I will send you. I will send an email with everything you guys learned today, tomorrow. I'll copy hard and paste. Scrabble. So the hard travel collective were the miners who owned the ship. And uh, astral project, astral extractions were the. Who, um, at the beginning, we learned that there was a ship that recently came to Absalon Station. The crew was entirely dead. The ship was called the Acreon. It had a giant uh, asteroid in tow, and the Acreon. Was uh, owned by the Hard Scrabble Collective, which is a group of miners, and they had been hired by Astral Projections, Astral Extractions, to do some prospecting on a plan on other planets. The ship with nobody who's with nobody live on it still brought back this asteroid. It was set there on a return, so a dispute over who owns the asteroid. Does Astral Project the Astral Extractions own it? Because they, in their mind, they do because they paid for the expedition. But hard travel claims they own it because they brought it back. It wasn't a planet they investigated. It wasn't part of the part wasn't part of the charter for the expedition. Correct. By the way, does anybody else find it a little bit racist that the dwarf is a, came from a mining area and is in charge of mining and miners and miners and dwarves do the mining with the dwarfs and the mining? He's an expert. But it's a bit racist. I mean, come on, really? I think it's extremely racist. <laughs> Terribly racist. Who can I kill now? Finally, you also learn uh, you, you do a, a bit more digging. On a roll of 27, I have to give you basically everything I have on this. Uh, Creel had personally invested money in the Hard Scrabble Collective. In addition, one of his cousins was a member of the group, but she died in a mining accident. The result of safety violations perpetrated by her contract employer, Astral Extractions. Wow, really? What a coincidence. I have good idea that I think we 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 should use ghost for if we need to. Um, um, uh, we could we could have him. Don't tell me, trigger. You want me to kill somebody? No, no. Well, well, you might have to, but uh, ghost. I'm thinking because you could do it probably better than any of the 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 others in this group. We we could get him into one of the gangs. <clears throat> I know I have an intelligence of, of eight right here, but uh, no. I think it would be simpler to find out which one or both of them were hired by whom uh, it, it, to see if they were hired to stage this fight in order to kill the dwarf. Well, we, we could do that too, but maybe we could get that by getting Ghost into one of the organizations and seeing if he could find out. I think um, also... Ghost. On a side note, we could use you in there. You could get and steal a lot of stuff. 
and and maybe get me some upgraded computer stuff. These guys seem to have access to everything, and we could we could get some updated computer stuff and and lots of credits. And I'm sure they have weapons and other stuff that we could use too. That's a good plan. I like that. Like I just girls. I, uh, it <clears throat> it would be simpler to simply throw some credits around and ask a few questions. Well, I, I mean, you don't need for uh, uh, financial gain. I don't know about you, Tiny, but we we have we have lots of no credits. <laughs> lots of no lots of. Uh, you can also now that you've. <laughs> I feel like I've unlocked a a, a, a tree in a in an RPG, but you I mean you you know that astral extractions and hard scrabble collective are also involved in some manner, or maybe oh, so you could use your maybe, culture checks to learn about them as well. Maybe we should see if they are connected to the to each other. Are they? Are they based? Are they based here? Uh, gangs. Um, the heart. The astral extractions has a large corporate office there. The hard scrabble collective is actually a collective ragtag. It's 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 it's, a, it's like a fleet. They actually don't don't reside on the station, but they have several ships. In the Could area. I kind of hack into the other company's uh, computer systems? Uh, you could try. You can start with the culture check. Let's get the easy solution. You get the easy answers first. It's totally meta game. <coughs> Seems pretty obvious what happened. <laughs> so Absalon is kind of like Delaware. You get lots of tax credits here, or maybe it's like Vancouver in the in the film industry. Well, what it is is that um, lots of uh, groups ho kind of hover around Absalom Station, so they're not really subject to its rules per se. As long as they're not doing, you know, human sentient being rights violations, right? Uh, but they're kind of offered the protection just by being near the station. Do a culture check on the company. Uh, Astral extractions. Yeah. Let's see what I know. Twelve. Thirteen. That's all. Fourteen. Fifteen. Oh. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Do it again, Jeff. Fifteen. Sorry, what, Mikey? <laughs> 17. Yes. What do I need to get what you need to tell me, Josh? No, Because <laughs> that's what I roll. Actually, they go yeah. higher and higher. They, you get more and more information. The higher you go. Uh, so, in the, okay. For Astral Extractions. Um, astral Extractions is a powerful mining conglomerate with business ties throughout the packed worlds. Most of the company's operations are centered in the diaspora and the rocky moons of the outer planets. But it has also begun sending scout vessels into the vast in search of new claims. The couple recently hired one of the hard scrabble collective ships, the Acreon, for one of these exploratory missions. Once that was out in, it was out out further out. Um, That's the ghost ship now, right? The Acreon. Yes. Nothing new there. Nothing new there. If you rolled a little higher, I could have given him more information. Um, well, Mikey rolled a little higher, didn't you? Mikey's hacking different. Fifteen. I rolled a 15 on that, and I'm untrained, though. That's all I, I, that's all I got was a 15. So engineering. You, you are unable to hack astral extractions. They are a... They actually know what security is. Yes. Oh, no, no, no. That's not... I'm sorry. That wasn't a hacking roll. I was rolling after Jeff to try to see if I could help him. His culture? Your culture? Culture, yeah. I rolled a 15 on culture. Are you trained in culture? No. Can I not use that, or no? Nope. The ones... If, if you have the character sheet from the... the that came out of the book, the PDF. Yep. The ones with crosses next to them, you can't use unless you're trained. So, oh, so that was a well. Okay, so that's a wasted role then. Yeah, computers, culture, engineering, life science, medicine, mysticism, physical science, profession, Sorry. and sleight of hand are un cannot be used unless they're trained. Jeff, okay. Jeff, right. so I, didn't, I didn't roll. I was gonna. I, I, so I want to do my hacking thing. Uh, okay, you are you can try all you want. You're unable to hack astral extractions. Okay, uh, Jeff rolled a twenty on it. He he gave me his chip. Uh, he opened unlocked two more now uh, two more things he learned. Uh, the public face of astral extractions is that of an ethical and respectable corporation, but outside of the public eye, some say the company uses hired muscle, corporate mercenaries, strike breakers, and even criminal elements as proxies to intimidate and threaten those who stand in its way. Like best read, soldiers. Read that again. Precisely. They hire. They 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 look good on the outside, but they're rotten on the inside. Hell they nice. hire bad people. <clears throat> no, hell knights wouldn't. 
Um, well, I don't know that. Maybe the last the last bit of information that Nala is able to gather is. Following the arrival of the Acreon, Astral Extraction secretly hired, secretly hired a violent Absalon street gang called Level 21. The Downside the Kings <laughs> to coerce the Hard Scrabble Collective into abandoning its claims on the Acreon and the Drift Rock, which is what the Astral has become called. It's Drift Rock. So the Downside Kings apparently work for Astral Extractions. I didn't say well, I there was a connection. <laughs> So uh, at least we don't know. We no longer have to visit the level two kings, level 21 gang. But uh, we should investigate the downside kings. You can also see what, col what culture checks get you for the hard scrabble collective. Might as well learn both sides. Yeah, True. I'll roll for that. You'll roll for that. Start with that culture roll. Uh, 11 plus 1, 12. Uh, tr Trigger, are you able to uh, hack into the hard scrabble collective? Uh, I can try. All right, go ahead and try. Um, what, uh, Lisi? No, are we going to just go Lisi? You go with Aya or Lisi or Aya, Aya Lisi. Lisi. Now Aya. you're going back to the Aya. I have to write that again. Aya Lisi learns the, knows the Hard Scrabble Collective is a clan of stubborn asteroid miners that operates primarily among the scattered planetoids of the diaspora. It has no offices or base of operations, but the clan members. Usually view the Armada, the ever-changing fleet of ships that orbit Absalon Station, as a central gathering place. Collective crews hire their ships out to a wide variety of business concerns, including astral extractions, which recently employed the collective ship Acreon to scout for new mining prospects in the vast. It's nothing new there. No. Uh, trigger? I rolled, a, I rolled a 24. Computers. I guess I'm computers. computers. Uh, yeah, I'll give you this one. So you go through the records uh, from what you can gather, and you realize that the Hard Scrabble Collective, it's, it's almost more of a, uh, a corporate enterprise. You know, they claim to be a clan, but it's a bunch of different ships. They, they work together. They have mutual benefits, um, and they are all different races. There's humans, dwarves, androids, Yosoki, more. Uh, I mean, it is as tightly knit as many families and members fiercely looked out for one another's welfare. Nothing new there. They would be easy for us to infiltrate uh, because they're so there's they're so diverse. We as a group could get in there if we needed to. I th I think you're right. If, if you know anything about necessary. mining, <laughs> there's rocks. There's picks. There's shovels. What else is there to know? We 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 can get all the information about mining. I I can hack the computers and 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 we can learn all of it. How do you how, how do you think Ghost got so smart? Hmm. <laughs> all right. Uh, award the PCs 400 XP if they learn the astral extractions. Hire the downside king. If you guys did that, so award yourself an additional 400 XP. Oh. Are trying to woke you up for that? I was late. <coughs> I, Jeff and I, can go to bed. <laughs> I think yeah, I think you're we, up way late. I told her she just stay up late. It's time. a half day Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh. So. Sorry. It's, I'm not doing it. That was a low hanging fruit for the investigation. Sorry, I, think, the, I, I, I am you know, the Van Buren gang. Uh, it's low hanging fruit for the investigative. I think that we pick up next time with the, the harder to find stuff. Guys, I, 1000 XP. We just have to go around the station and kill 300 rats. At <laughs> Dude, they're your family. They're your family. I have the first two rats right here. <laughs> uh, I mean, are, are we? I think this, this is probably the best breaking point we're gonna get for a while. Uh, I just want to say, it seems as though we should go have a little chat with the downside kings and learn who their contact is at uh, Astral Extractions. That sounds very dangerous. Yes, it does. That's why. <laughs> we're <laughs> It's a, it's a tiny, tiny. That's a that's a great idea. But can we get some food on the way? Because I'm really hungry. Is it, how long did this all take us? 
So, we'll, we'll, so the intent here is that um, most of what you just learned about what each of the groups was was probably a small conversation that Nala had or knew or or I I see new or trigger could figure out or hard. trigger could hack. So it's probably point, okay. probably a couple hours. So it wasn't a full rest. I don't get my resolve point. Back. No, you guys, you guys sat down. Okay, sure. It was the afternoon, and then you went to bed that night. Okay. You went to dinner, you went to bed that night. Perhaps tomorrow we should go and investigate the downside kings. Or tomorrow, or later that night, you can go to someplace shadier and beat people up. I'm okay with beating people up. I think I, I think Ghost and I are gonna go uh, <clears throat> see what we can uncover and pocket. <laughs> Okay, who had more than one? Uh, I think Mikey. I got it written down. I got chips? mine written down. Okay, you will always start with one chip. If you have none, you'll get one. So they if you have three, you will not get an extra one. What if you have one? What if you have two? You have two. Have two. You, you won't get the first one if you already have some. Oh, I see. Okay, so what you're saying is three is the max you can have, but you always have at least one. If you have one or more than one for the next section, you don't get another one. Correct. Oh, okay, so they don't like add every week. Correct. Right. Okay, yeah. so like I have three, so I get to keep my three. I don't get another one. And yeah, my, correct. Two, my two, I come back with two. If I right. them both and had none, I would come back next week and get one. And get one. Give me the rundown. I'll jot down how many you have so we have it documented for next session. Adam had two. I had one. I had two. Jules had two. I have three. And Mikey has three. Puppy. Settle down. Puppy's right here. He's sleeping too. If you keep sticking the ball under the thing, you'll never. I don't know what to do. Dogs are dumb. All right. Is that so? We're stopping then. Is that our deal? Yeah, we are. We're already like half broken down. I think that's a fair. I think there's a good enough place to stop, guys. Have a great Thanksgiving. Yes. Yes. Everybody enjoy your Thanksgiving. Tools. Thanks for jumping in there and being a good sport. Just coming right in at there in the middle. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think you had a fun night. Yeah, it was fun, man. Welcome I didn't, to the big chair, Josh. Well done. I didn't enjoy anything. <laughs> you lied. This is the most I've had you. you you've been involved in, in in years. This has been phenomenal. Like I just can't even begin to tell you how much fun it was. <laughs> you went outside your comfort zone. I try, I'm trying, and I'm trying to be in character all the time. Yeah, we'll see how everybody does in two weeks. Well, we play next week, and then we'll see how everybody does after that. Yeah. So no, nope, Bob and I, Bob and I have big plans, big big plans, big plans. That's all I'm saying. We kill so many people. We have so many people to kill. <laughs> uh, regarding playing against your typical type, Mike, let me know how that feels because I want to. Like, maybe I want to try that next time. Okay, it's, so, <laughs> I, I will say so far it's been kind of fun. Awesome. But it's only been one four hour session or three hours, whatever. So yeah. yeah. We actually started pretty good, so we did get about three and a half hours in. Yeah, yeah. So actually, awesome. All right. I'll see you all next Monday. I oh, we're gonna keep Mondays, right? Because that works better for Jeffy. I mean I listen, don't worry about the soccer thing, I'll figure out something. But yeah, it's better for Jeff and Bob on Mondays. I think. Okay, let's let's keep it on Mondays. Um they may be doing a men's league only on Wednesday night, so that may work out for me if they do that. Okay, that'd be good. So, so I'll, I'll, try to, I'll try to do that one then if that's what they come up with. Mikey, that's not as much fun. But yeah. So. I have to agree with that, man. And I would be happy, Mike, to take Wednesdays. Um, maybe I'll just connect remotely a couple of times because the season won't be in the entire year. So give it, a, give it some thought. Yeah, like I said, I mean, you know, if it works out, like I said, if they, if they do this men's thing on Wednesdays, then – we can keep it, you know, whatever works best for your guys' schedule. I'll play Wednesday soccer, and we'll go from there. But, All right. I, mean, I mean, I'm happy to play game night on Wednesdays so you can get in on Mondays. That's that's cool by me. No, 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 Bob. I Listen, I, I, I am very sympathetic towards – how it, tough it is to like work all day and then go do an evening to late shift. So I, I, I we, I, yeah, we don't. I, I don't recover like I used to anymore. So um, I am totally fine if I, if they have this men's league, I'll, I'll sign up for that one. So, but I appreciate everybody's offer. All right, you guys have a great one. I'll talk to you guys next week. Yeah, Mike. Yeah, uh, Bob. I hope Andrea's up well enough for you to come next week. And uh, if not, well, we'll miss you and have well, let's have your vote again. <laughs> but, right, uh, take care. Have a great night.
right. Have All a right. good one. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.